Morning all. Jesus, getting a bit close today. Holy wham. Uh, right, I've got, I've got to have to do the same gesture, today, guys, because I've got a bit... It's gonna, I've got a nasty scar coming on my face, boys. Not that I really care about that, but... Oh! Oh, that feels good. There's something nice about... Oh, no, it's that sour cream, isn't there? Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so nice. Savlon, do you get Savlon elsewhere in the world? It's like Savlon, like a, a, a worldwide, like, it's like a little sort of antiseptic cream, isn't it? Oh, oh that's so nice. Oh, see, it's like having an ice cube put on me. Oh, shit, I've lost the, oh, I've dropped the cap, boys. God damn it, it's a disaster. Shit on it! All right, oh, that's that sword. Hang on. Let me let me wipe the rest all over my nose or something. You are woodcut. How are you, mate? I'll be with you in a minute, mate. It's just putting me links on. <laughs> There's a pro street. It's like getting. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Right, there we go. 
No, normally I'd wait, but I can't be asked anymore. Start going. Let's see where we are. Uh, Load for myself. I'm looking forward to this today. Uh, accompany Gregor to the capital. Oh yeah, we're oh yeah, we're, we're taking Gregor to the Muth. I don't think it's called the Muth, but did you see the video? Finally went up. Oh, Game of Jesus Nexus. Good, 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 uh, good watch, man. Morning, Bob. How are you, Bob? Amazing yesterday, dude. Right? Server meshing w with good performance as well. I mean, outstanding performance. One could even say. We'll uh, we'll have to keep an eye on things, bro. Is, is, is this the year, Bob? You know? Uh, I mean, it could have been a fleek, right? We'll wait for, like, maybe... Can, can they repeat it? <laughs> yeah. we'll, have to, we'll have to see, right, Bob? But great really news for them, though, right? You mustn't shirk your duty. C kind of cool as well. Well, like, the day after we streamed it as well, so it was kind of, like, you know, I'm fresh well in my mind. That, thank you. Morning, Doc. How are you doing? How's things? Morning, Shades. Uh, morning, Advina on YouTube. How are you doing, Advina? So, Woodcut, you got 10 hours in as a thief. How are you finding the thief? You're finding it a lot of fun. My piece is not a slouch, but some of the graphics, like trees and grass, are a bit off. I have no frame rate issues that have affected enjoyment. So, again, you know, if, if it's not bothering you, that's great, dude. But, I mean, the frame rates are literally all over the place, man. It's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it, it's like Nexus, sort of, sort of script was up there, essentially saying, like... The highs to the lows can, can be as much as like 90 FPS on some rigs. And, and, and it is, it's like having another GPU variant in, in, in your performance. I've, I've never seen a game this bad before. Uh, I, I really haven't. I mean, like, like in Shrouded is terribly weird with its camera issues. Um, but, but this game, I've never seen anything like this before. No, not in all the years I've gamed. This one is just like, it, it's... What the hell is it doing in the towns, man? What, what is going on with the AI? You know, what? what there's got to be some looping hammer script going on, right? There's got to be something like that. You're right, Scully. Yeah, Patreon. F feel free. <laughs> Savlon. No, not Savlon. It's Savlon, right? You made me want a Savloy. Oh, Savloy's are gorgeous, mate. Used to have a Savloy nearly every other day with a friend of mine. A, a, a Savloy and chips. He fucking loved those things. I've not. I don't think I've had a Savloy in probably. I, I dread to think, mate. Years and years and years and years, dude. Used to love those things. The way they sort of like uh, is the, the way the skin sort of cracked. There was something weird about it, wasn't there? Been watching some vids of it, amazing. It actually works. I thought they were just. Yeah, have you seen the dude that went? I, I, I think I linked it. The dude on Reddit who went to like one of the, like the North Poles on the planet. So he's essentially bouncing between one and another, isn't he? Uh, and and I was like, Jesus, man. I mean, you know, let let you know, let let's not pretend it's flawless. I mean, there's still terrible issues with it. Um, but it, it's a fairly big monumental first step, right, Bob? Morning, Jack. Thieves are laughing. Very warm Maybe welcome OP. to Gold Subdivine. Oh, really? uh, morning, Divine. How are you, Divine? How's things? How are you? How are you? How's Baal and Grey? How's the Motley crew? Oh, yeah, the, the, the popping on the characters. See, the thing is, again, with the popping on the characters, like, it's, it's bloody annoying. I could live with it if, if performance was excellent. Do you know what I mean, Woodcut? Like, like if, if NPCs in the city centre were, like, popping in, sort of like... Uh, you know, ten foot away from you, but but you know you were getting like really smooth frames and things. I mean, it happened in Dragon's Dogma, dude. Uh, right at the start of Dragon's Dogma, as, as you come into the main town, like literally just after you've started, um, there are I, I think it's like three, possibly four NPCs, and, and and a couple of them are bending down. And due to the way they've done culling, um, if you come around the corner a bit too quick, it actually you, you can see them just suddenly materialise. Um, uh, you know, they they had to work so much harder but back in the PlayStation 3 days. Uh, and, you know, modern day companies, they, they just seem to be assuming you can brute force. Did anyone else notice this? I only noticed this yesterday. Go and have a look at the store page for this guy. They're literally targeting 30 FPS. Everything about minimum and recommended specs is targeting 30 FPS. I, I, I didn't realise. That's why it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think Capcom care about anything over thirty. As far as they're concerned, if you're getting thirty, you, you, it's all right. I think that's the problem. I think that might be why DLSS frame gen's been removed. I, I th and, and people are crashing with it. I, I think there may be a problem with high frame rates in the game. To be honest, 
Uh, you left left me uh, left a message. Uh, what do you mean, Devine? Sorry, you left a message. What what did you do? I was here for a few minutes and heard the demonetization. I suppose it didn't work out very well. But we don't know. Uh, we I just have to assume no. Uh, I, I, no communication. Um, weird, weird experience with live Twitch chat, which we spoke about at length on one of the streams. We we may get to put in an appeal, but I haven't got an, an appeal to appeal. So there's nothing to appeal because uh, I'm not registered as having anything that is wrong, technically, on the appeals page. Uh, so I've just got to assume it's dead, dude. From what we've heard, when this happens to, to a channel, that's it, it's game over. So Twitch just never responds to you. So I think it's game over. Well, we'll give it another few, a few days because because that'll be like a 30-day period then uh, after. Well, it will be longer than that. That'll make it 30. That'll make it like what? Uh... Oh, no, that will be the 30-day period, won't it? I can't... Oh, is it 50? I can't, I can't remember, dude. I can't remember. But anyway, 30, 30 days, so... Um, are you right, Bane? How are you doing, mate? How's things? How are you, mate? Uh, I, it was just to let you know that I was supporting through Patreon, not Twitch. Oh, Divine, I was... Oh, sorry, do you mean on Discord? Oh, shit. I'm so far behind, Divine. I'm so far behind. Uh, I, I really need to clear up. I just haven't had a chance, man. Uh, it, it's been blow after blow, like, like the last few sort of... Well, the, Last fucking year, I think. <laughs> Trying to sort out like transport for the so girlfriend. Well, I, mean, I think I've called in just about every favour I'm owed at the moment, so uh, I'm, I'm going to be shit out of luck soon. But yeah, I'll, I'll have. I'll see if I can catch you up later, Divine. Or at least I'll prioritise yourself, mate. How are you, Divine? How's things? And then thank you. You know, whatever. You know, whatever you want to do, mate. You know that, that's. You know, there's uh, obviously no obligation whatsoever. People have got to do what they got to do, mate. I, I'm, I'm not here. I'm not very good at sort of like. Uh, I don't know. I, I find it hard talking about the old side of that. And the whole, that whole Just side Just yonder of it, looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. So, am I, am, am I correct that as much the as we thief... Can carry. Would, would it be correct to say that the thief, as I knew it... So, so, I played the Strider, right? Who, to me, was, like, more a thief than anything in the first one. Because I'm really worried that, that this really concerns me, right? In Dragon's Dogma 1... I had eight skills. The only time I didn't have eight skills that I, I can remember was if I had a warrior because it had a two-handed weapon, right? So, for example, as the strider, I could press, like, LB and I would have four skills for my daggers. And if I pressed RB, I think I had four skills for my bow. I, it might have been the other way around, but you get my point. Um, and as far as I know, most of the other vacations, in fact, all the vacations apart from Warrior, have the same system. But it, I, I did notice, and I can't think where it was. It was it was in like vacations and things, wasn't it? I did notice when we looked at vacations that it was almost like the thing. I think as at the as at the Strider, he was a bow and dagger dude, been split in Dragon's Dogma Two into the Thief, which is double daggers, and an archer. If that makes sense. So, is Dragon's Dogma 2 on all vocations downgraded to any four skills? Because I did notice yesterday that all the classes in the skill allocation menu that I've got, so obviously my, my various pawns, well, so sorry, m m myself and Alania, so both of my, you know, both of my characters. They only have four skills equipable. Is that just early game and we'll lock the other four later, maybe? Is, is it just like... Because that, that concerns me a great deal. Um, because I'm going to be honest, the combat was boring as fuck anyway in Dragon's Dogma 1. I love the combat, but we were so overpowered, I just used the same buttons. If I wasn't doing like, like Tenfold Flurry or Skull Crusher, I would occasionally do like the up and over sort of firework one. Three skills. I, I, I use more skills in an ARPG. So, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm actually a little bit concerned that the game might not be any more complicated, to be honest. Can't leave my post, I'm afraid. And, and in fact, could even be, like, simplified over Dragon's Dogma 1. Uh, and that is very worrying. I, I'm, I'm going to err on the side of, like, you know, we've just got to wait and get, get things unlocked, obviously. So. Right, let's, uh, let's carry on. So, we've met. We've got a little camp. 
a little little, little safe place. Let me check. So I've got the I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. There we go. That's all okay. Check that. What skills have I got? I've got shield bash, blink strike. I'll go on. and open the chest. Oh, the chest you say? Oh, she did find. It. Oh, Alania. Well spied, man. What do we get? The Fulgurous Lord. Th those Fulgurous things are base. Oh, what's this? Stability extract. I think it's definitely worth having a mooch around in the game. I mean, whether or not... Again, is it is it going to make any difference? I think that was the problem with Dragon's Dogma 1, wasn't it? You, and Skyrim. Skyrim syndrome. You know, you look around, you get 4,000 healing pots, but... <laughs> you just eat cheese instead, right? Uh, the Council of Novels is here to type exclamation mark Patreon. Come and support us on Patreon, boys. Keep the channel alive. We should do we should do a subathon. Well, that's what we should do. But not a subathon. What we should do is... I, I, I should set an hourly rate for the stream. And, and then uh, if, if we get adequate funds, we can stream for a day or two. And, and then when I've not got adequate funds, I can go and do real work. <laughs> and then I can keep the girlfriend happy. She's not happy at the minute, boys. She's not happy at all, mate. Uh, however, I have to say, she absolutely is loving Come Game of Thrones. Of We're all I of mean, differing vocations, aren't we? We, we had a couple of options yesterday. Are unique as well. And uh, we must she... Our skills. A jack she, of all trades Jesus, is a master yabbery, of yabbery, dude. Um, yeah, but... Um, yeah, she, she's really getting into it, man. What happened yesterday? We got to the point where... Joffrey nearly got killed when when the crowd goes wild because someone threw some pig shit at him. Um, I, th I think we've just got to the point where uh, Tyrion and and is it Bronn? And they're trying to figure out how they're going to defend uh, King's Landing, and and it ends with him saying like, "What have we got?" And he says, "Pig shit," and and it kind of fades to black. It's like, what the hell? What, what, what the hell are they up to, man? You right, Crooked? How are you, sir? How's things? I uh, got four standard skills, then another four, so eight in total, and then unique to thief. So, so have you got? Have you got four active skills then? So you see, like here, uh, where I press LB, yeah, where I've got shield bash and blink, yeah. Uh, I've got those four unlocked. So later on, I'll get four like on on the on the shield as well. Will I? Just say that, that that's good to know, man. Because I must admit, like. I could only I only saw four woodcut, so clearly we unlock more later. Uh morning Bob, how are you doing? All done, Divine. Uh hang on, what what have you done, Divine? Oh shit, oh it's not working my end. Ah oh, fuck, it's still not working my end. Did that did that did that come up, Divine? Oh shit, I don't think it's working. Let, let me just try a reef oh. Wow, re whoa, that was fast, dude. I I, I barely even felt like I clicked refresh. Uh, Divine, thank you so much, my friend. Uh, Nidbane, I've just noticed yours as well. But but that was before we were streaming, dude. Thank you very, very much, Nidbane. Thank you for the support on Patreon. Divine, thank you so much. P please give a big cuddle to Ball and Grey as well. Thanks ever so much, Divine. I'm sorry about all the all the kerfuffle, Divine. It's, it's, it's not doing my mental health any good, to be honest, mate. But uh, we're, we're struggling through. Thank you ever so much. Uh, you're right, Crooked. I love Game of Thrones. The wife loved it too, despite not... Ah, that's exactly what's happening with us, Crooked. My girlfriend does not like dragons uh, and, you know, wizards and all that sort of stuff. Really not into it, man. Come to think um, it. And zombies. masters favour different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have beastrons for allies. Each to I'd their own. I quite like a picture of that. We'll, we'll uh... Come on, crack on. Yeah, there we go. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, yeah, she, she really does not like it. But you know you know what happened, Crooked? Through, through just a weird turn of events. I, I think she wasn't feeling great and she just thought, oh, just watch one of those average films that she's not going to like and probably have a doze in the middle of it. And we ended up watching Damsel, which has got, is it Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things in it? And it's about a dragon, basically. Well, it's not about a dragon, it's about her, but... And uh, we watched that on one Saturday or Sunday uh, evening, and I, I th and she really enjoyed it, dude. She actually really did enjoy it. So I thought, let's give Game of Thrones a bash. And I didn't really say anything. I wasn't like, you know, trying to convince her it was good or anything. And we just kind of sat down and we watched it. And uh, she's really into it, man. Really enjoying it. Uh, thank you ever so much, Devon. Support you, not bloody Twitch. <laughs> 
<laughs> it feels so wrong though, Dwight. I feel like I it just don't feel right, mate. Uh, your fever broke and your lungs are clearing out. Oh, Jesus, Bob. You're all right then, mate. On the road to recovery. It's so, so it's, it's, no, it's four actual abilities. You get your slash, your stab, your block. All depend on class and not really abilities. Then you get four abilities when pressing LB. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, what? So these... Oh, so Impale, Onslaught, Shield and Jump. Oh, so Impale and Onslaught are not... Oh, shit, are they... Oh! Oh, hang on. What's Onslaught, dude? How do I do Onslaught? Oh, Onslaught's not... Oh! Impale's the one when they're on the floor, isn't it? Wasn't Onslaught like... Oh, I see. So they're more like the augment. Well, they're not augment. They're like the core skills. Oh, okay. So it is a little different. Before these were just combos you worked in on your base skills, weren't they? Oh, I think I get it. Ah, uh, cheers, uh, Asgil. Oh, right. So, so temper expectations on that then. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You, you, so you only got really like the four active abilities on LB then, yeah? Oh yeah, lots of people are talking about three body problems. Uh, uh, I, I think, it, I can't remember, was it uh, Dez and, and Deadeye and a couple of others were talking about this three body thing. I mentioned it to the girlfriend. So it's, the, it, it's based, again, it's based on books. Um, presumably very popular and the same people that essentially did like the live action Game of Thrones on Netflix or whatever it was, HBO was it? Are also doing the same thing with three body problem on Netflix, right? So I've never read the books. So as long as it's a reasonable story, I think I'll be into it. But I'll, I'll, I'll leave that until after we've watched Game of Thrones. So we, we've got many weeks of watching that. Uh, you're right, Wednesday. You watched it as well, did you? Uh, awesome start. Great mid. Tailed off towards the end, but very enjoyable and creepy sci-fi. What? What, have you watched it all? How many episodes are there, Wednesday? Yeah, Damsel's all right, dude. It's not a terrible film. I mean, don't, don't expect a blockbuster. It's, it's Millie Bobby Brown, and, and she plays a great role. She's a w wonderful actress, uh, and it's got a really good dragon in it. it, it it's a very watchable film, dude. Uh, Ball snoring so loud, I can hear him. Got the volume on 100%. <laughs> yeah, it's making a nice bacon sign, you divide. You watched all 10 episodes. How long are the episodes? Is that, is that 10 hours? Jesus Christ, when sex. So, that, that, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of Netflix, man. Uh, I mean, if you read the books, when sex. I mean, are you someone that's going to be affected by, you know, having read, Might you know, you what... Might you consider what? lightening your pack, Master? Oh, jeez, what the Let's hell? Let's see. What can we do without? What was that? Why does, why does it look all so bright? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, is everyone all right? Uh, well, yeah. Oh, I can see Gobble, a gobbo over there. Look, attacking some dude. Uh, oh, shit, I have More to press the buttons, don't I? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Oh, right. Oh, is it just, is it just making... Is it just like we're going to cut off a part of the map, is it, or something, until we uh, clear it? You see, like, uh, all the fallen tree and everything over there, look. Like. Oh, God, it killed a load of gobbos. Look. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit. Lest all oh, that careful with the water, guys. Nice. Careful with the water. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Go ahead, attack, horse. So what is three body problem about? I, 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 obviously, I asked in Discord and I, I got a link. To, net, to, to an, an anthem. I don't, I don't want to really watch that stuff because it tends to give it away. That, that's why I asked the question. I mean, what is it? I mean, I know how to do it. <laughs> but, you know, is it a sci-fi? You know, is it, you know, the expanse? Is it, you know, the future? Is, is it a time travel? You know, what is it? You know, what what, what is three-body problem? You know, if you had to summarise the basic concept of it in a sentence... You know, that was is well it, thought. Is it There's spaceships? No is it aliens? Is no it doubt this sci fi? Will spur us into the next. Is it, you know, if you say Game of Thrones, you know, it's like a, 
If you wanted to keep it really vague, you'd say, what's Game of Thrones? It'd be like a, a, a highly politically charged, uh, you know, realm versus realm uh, sort of ongoing war, you, which is like swords and sorcery, really sort of think Lord of the Rings-esque. What, what, what is three body? You know, if you, if you really didn't want to spoil it, but sort of give an idea of what it is. Uh, we lost a, we lost a mate last week. Well, what? What? As in dead Wednesday? It's fucking. Oh god, yeah, the funeral Wednesday. Again, okay? needed a huge break. For, oh, for fuck's sake, dude, that's fucking awful, mate. Sorry to hear that one. Sorry. That's that's awful, dude. Uh, do we know when? Uh, that gobbo was monster meal. He did when it. Yeah, they don't last long in the water. I'm sorry to hear that Wednesday. That's awful, man. Uh, it's a, so it's a real science theory found in, I think, 2009. So so real. It is actually something real. But someone took it and turned it into a sci-fi series about a star system with three unstable sun's rotations. They cannot survive like we would. And they look for somewhere else to live. Oh, so, so it's so it's set in an al a completely alternate reality, is it? So so it's not Earth. So, so it's, it, it's in a completely sort of made-up universe where... Oh, it is set on Earth. Oh, right, all right. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe maybe we're getting to spoiler territory then. All right, well, all right. Then. So, so it's kind of sci-fi based on Earth about and, and, and some pivotal, you know, discovery which leads to things. Oh, and, and it's got, oh, it's got, so it's got lots of time jumping. It's got aliens. All right, okay, all right. It's not, you're not selling me on it, but I'll give it a bash. It's a sci-fi, uh, the ad was very short. Yeah, I, I just don't watch stuff like that, Shades. Yeah, I just, I just, I, I've learned that with Sony, dude. I, I just do not watch clips. Oh, I've, been, I've been spoiled way too many times in films. Even when someone says it's only 60 seconds and it doesn't tell you anything, I, I, I tend to disagree. <laughs> I'd rather not, not watch anything these days. I, th I think all this stuff is designed for people with the attention span of a goldfish, aren't they? Um, I'm going oh no! I want you fire well. Oh, oh, Lickers, I said it as well, man. I don't think I actually lost any main health, though, did I? Heal me up, Polani. Heal me up. How are you, Shane? Did you have a nice uh, day yesterday, Shane? Did you get up to anything? I should have got a mow on the lawn yesterday. But a uh, lot more problems with that as well. So a fine we place to had quite a nice ingredients. day. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Okay. What, ga what games are you playing, Wednesday? Did you up to anything at the moment? Did you carry on with, like, Helldivers? I really like Helldivers. Helldivers is a great game. Really, really well done, that. This are generally used to, as I a think material. that will stay on the hard drive for a long time to come. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Yeah, I'll have a look at this three-body thing then. Uh, once we've finished Game of Thrones. There was a couple of others. Uh, I, I tried that. I tried an episode of Ted Lasso, or however you pronounce it. Be traversing this. I, I thought Onward. it was fucking boring right as fuck. I've ahead. been told it gets a lot, lot better. <laughs> But like it, would, it would have to get a lot of that. So I find it about as funny as the Jesus, this block is like great if, if you're not going to end on a minute. We really need, we need, I mean, the game hasn't even got a field of view slider, has it? I mean, I, I think there is one, but it, it's kind of not ideal because it's, it kind of changed. The, there was the, the first one that came out as a mod does change the field of view, but then it, it, it puts it back to normal in combat. I don't know if they've worked on that. Uh, but I do, I do find it ever so hard, you know, especially if we're on a slope, man. 
The Onion Knight is in it too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, do, when you say Onion Knight, that's the dude who had his fingers cut off by uh, Stannis Baratheon, yeah? The, the dude who I've just watched take the lady in, into, like, some weird cave. And she gives birth to some hideous shadow beast that then goes and murders Renly. That was rough, man. The girlfriend was like, what the fuck? And, and one of the best things, right, is the kids. You know, like, because she, she's now got... She's starting to become used to the fact that in Game of Thrones, anyone can die at any moment, right? So, obviously, the kids, uh, Bran and... What, what's his brother called? I can't, can't remember. But they, they've escaped with Hodor, haven't they? And, uh, obviously, they show the burnt bodies, and she's like, No! No! Would no, that section like quality could last? <laughs> There's no great shock to me. <laughs> It's quite, it's quite cool, man. Uh, uh, the pawns are super talking this, and I'm not sure I like it. That, that, I, you, I think you can change it on inclination, but uh, uh, you, you could do it in the first one, Bob. They went from extremely chatty to slightly less extremely chatty. Yeah. Uh, there's a few Game of Thrones characters in Three Body. Uh, the Onion Knight, the High Sparrow. Uh, High Sparrow, dude. What do you mean by the High Sparrow, dude? Not not Littlefinger. No. Varys? High Sparrow. Not sure you mean by that. Uh, honestly, this week uh, has, has been mainly looking after my mate. She lost her husband. So we've been doing a lot of driving, cooking, and planning games on hold. But yeah, I could get out of that when Hey, Anything you're looking forward to, dude? Or just, you know, not in the mood for it. All my best, mate. All my best. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, my friend. Uh, you've got 26 hours in the game. I can say, depending on the personality of your pawns, it is starting to get a little bit irritating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some good news is that guy will be... Oh, you're right, Missy. Morning, Missy. Um, the guy will be added to World of Warcraft as an NPC. He was a GM for... So oh, got you. So it's someone you knew back from the Blizzard days, is it? When Texan stayed in touch. Oh, that's... That, that's, uh, that's, that's kind of nice, man. Kind of nice. I've, I've, I've played a little bit of um, World of Warcraft over the last... Uh, well, since Christmas, when tech's on and off. <laughs> I'm going to read the books. It will make me look intellectual. <laughs> uh, Hodor, yeah, yeah. Va Varys, yeah, yeah. Varys, the eunuch. I like. I kind of like Varys. He's got... He, he fit, I mean, I can't... Because I have seen it. But I'm starting to realise how little I know of the details of Game of Thrones. I think that's what shocked me so much. It's so, so well done, man. It, it really is. I, I, we're really enjoying it. it it's, it's a wonderfully... It's one of those like really nice shows to watch where you're sort of constantly asking yourself questions. But hang on a minute. Who is this? What, what is their affiliation with that? And it's like li the li little things, you know? Because no you're starting to pay so much more attention you in, in, in some things. Uh, when gets Tyrion... Warm, as they say. Uh... I think it's Littlefinger, Varys, and I always call him the Meister because I can never remember his name. You know, the old... What's well this? Well done, Master. Oh, dude. She just gave me a little, like a little uh, side five, dude. Ha! <laughs> that was kind of neat. Yeah, and, and uh, Tyrion t tells them three different things. And it's the kind of thing I wouldn't have picked up on when I watched it the first time. Because like I said, I had it on like, you know, a, a spare monitor, a 720p monitor. I sort of had it on like in the background. So th this time, because I'm constantly asking myself questions, but so who is this? What's their affiliation? You know, wh where do I've they sit recalled. in that family tree? I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. Ooh. May I show you to its location? Oh, these are those bugs we can use, aren't they? These are like really good guys. Um, if we go to equipment. Oh no, not equipment. Sorry, items, isn't it? And we go to where would they be? Obviously, we presumably we've got them in that menu. Yeah. So what are they under? Oh, there they are. So these actually increase my maximum carrying capacity, don't they? So at the moment, I uh, I don't I mean it says twenty four point zero five. That's presumably the current weight, though, right? Oh wow, that's nice, dude. Now, I'm surprised they're not MTX. 
Let's be honest, right? If they were to add those bugs in, the Beatles as MTX, I think I think they'd make quite a lot of money, wouldn't they? Uh, I'm still. Oh yeah, because oh that's it. Because he calls her. I've just only clicked actually. When you said sparrows, that's what he calls his spies, doesn't he? Uh, doesn't he? Sorry. Um, uh, his little birds, the sparrows. That's his spy network, isn't it? All the kids. Yeah, is, is he ever going to finish it, Crooked? I mean, what, what's the general, like, you know, fan base understanding of, uh, of Ice and Fire or whatever it's called? Is he ever going to finish it or, or not? Or, or, or... <laughs> I mean, how, how many books are there? And, and over what period of time were those books done? And how many more books is he, books is he supposed to... Oh, God, I must have the sound too loud because I, I keep mis mispronouncing words. I can't hear myself think. I might have to turn it down. Things are quite like the, 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 the noises in the game. And, and I mean the ambient noises, Missy. Not, not the chatty chatty. I am attentive and loyal. I oh, prefer hey, to hey, remain hey, by your side. You, I was drinking my coffee. In there, battle, boy. I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. No, no, we don't want you, bro. See you later, mate. See you later. See you later, Randy Gaia. Did she say something about she found a chest around here last time she travelled? There's definitely something up there, look. How would we get up there? We have a little smooch around. Looks like some ruins. Maybe some gobos out here, boys. Now, what might that be? Goblins approach! Oh, shit, we have no gobos. means of exploiting our enemies. Oh, what the what dude? What the Wait, hell? The oh man! Oh my God! These gobos, man! I could have done no better. I Let my magics grant you an elemental dream. Well played, well played. Jesus, it, it's, it's a bit too zoomed in for that kind of combat, isn't it? In the Hopefully the dungeons will be a little more... Uh, I, th I think the problem is there's so many of us. I was saying yesterday, wasn't I? It's... Uh, you, you feel kind of like... You, you make mistakes because obviously yes. you want to play I'll the game, right? You want to engage in combat. You want to swing the sword and shield bash things. But because there's so many of them, what happens You'll is... You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. I will slap your fucking ass, you disrespectful motherfucker. I am trying to gather stuff to sell to lead us into a land of wealth and riches. Jesus, how rude from my pawns, man. That is that 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 deserves a slap. I reckon off with her head, don't you, chat? That is just, just rude. Picking up every little thing. <laughs> I feel like I've just been told off like by you shades, accusing me of being a hoarder. <laughs> if you don't start picking up every little thing. <laughs> Sometimes things are said, Missy, all right? <laughs> uh, he's too busy making Elden Ring content. Hang on, who's that? Oh, God, R.R. R. Martin. Yeah, uh, let, 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 yeah. so G George R.R. R. Martin uh, wrote three words. It, it's got monsters in it, and that was it. He played a pivotal role in the story of Elden Ring. Did he fuckers like? Even in an interview, didn't he? He didn't even know the name of the game or anything about it. He'd completely forgotten. It, it, it was such like a... Pro probably a paragraph that he did, right? He, he, he literally, he live on an interview, he was like, what? what? Oh, oh, we get, oh, that guy. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> he had nothing to do with it. It was purely marketing, wasn't it? He, 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 he'd forgotten everything about it, man. Great thing to have at the back of the box, though, right? All right, bear with me one sec, man. I've just, got, I've just got to jiggle the leg. Give it a shake.
Right, sorry about that. It's, it's really playing up today. Um, just, just, just kind of just need to sometimes like stretch it right out, just slow the spasming down. Kind of weird. I think it's because uh, I've not really had a particularly great routine the last few weeks, to be fair. I uh, can't see anything else around here. So there's an exclamation mark. Now, the exclamation mark on the map normally means that there is something to, like, interact with, doesn't there? It, uh, uh, so far, we've seen, like, ladders. Um, trying to think what else we've had. Uh, is, is it sometimes chests? I don't, I don't think it is, is it? I don't think it is chests. I don't know, I'm not sure. I, I feel like there's something here, but... I mean, whereabouts is the exclamation mark reference point? Is it near the dot on it? The problem is, the exclamation mark on the minimap, even once I found whatever it is that it's referring to, um, it doesn't make the exclamation mark disappear, does it? So I'm just trying to make sure I, I kind of understand all the mechanics, really. In Freshly these rested hours. as we are, this battle ought to be in our favour. We must not let down our guard. So they've obviously found another enemy, haven't they, somewhere? I grant you roaring flame. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. Smashed beyond repair. She's, she's a bit crazy, this one, isn't she? Eh? Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. Um, what was that, Crooked? Uh, when they say stuff like I found a chest, press up on the D-pad and they will lead you to the chest. Well, oh, will they really? Oh, we were talking about this yesterday. Is that how it works? So, so if they find a point of interest, is that only for chests? Or is that for any points of interest? Because sometimes you'll say, oh, that ladder over there, merrily verily, would thou like to invent... Oh, what the... Oh, skelly wellies, boys! <laughs> we have denizens Dare of the night, it? boys. We trounced our foe, well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Well done. Whoa, that, that is a strong attack. I like skellies, man. I do, I, I'll, I'll be a lot happier when... Oh, <laughs> we just did a little side five again. Oh, that's actually fucking cool as fuck. Um... You're right, Barry. I saw. La I sat last night wondering whether to buy this on Xbox or PlayStation 5, and they didn't at all, given the concerns of performance. And, uh, hang on. They didn't at all. Oh, right. So, so you, you were thinking of getting it and then found out how bad performance was, yeah? How are you finding it on Xbox? This isn't on Xbox. It, uh, this is on PC. This is on, like, a mega pimped out PC with just about every goddamn fix I can think of to make it run well, dude. I, I, I think the only other game I, I've worked so diligently at getting it to work is Enshrouded. And Enshrouded, I just can't. It's impossible. I don't know that engine. Uh, I don't know this engine. Um, Enshrouded, however, is completely proprietary, so, so I just have no idea about that. Um, the, the, this one, this one at least, obviously, we've got some idea uh, about what's going on. So we, we've managed to get it running. But it is. It, the performance is terrible, dude. Absolutely terrible. I, I, to be honest, mate, it, it, I, I would have refunded it j j just to make a stand. But uh, I, I think I might have got it working. I might have got it working. We'll find out more when we hit the city. But uh, if your only options are Xbox and PlayStation 5, um, you, you need to go to PlayStation 5, to be honest. Uh, the PlayStation 5 actually has a worse overall frame rate. But there is something really wrong with the Xbox version, mate. The, the actual graphical fidelity is absolutely terrible. I, I, I mean, even on PC, if you, if you have to use DLSS, if you're GPU-bound, which you're probably not going to be in this, you're going to be CPU-bound way before you hit GPA, GPU issues. Um, and th th there's something seriously wrong with that Xbox render, mate. I, I, I just have this. no what idea what Capcom are doing, to be honest, bro. What's this? We're trapped. What's this? Oh, oh, oh this is the lands. <gasps> oh, dude! Oh, this is. Oh, I, I saw a little bit of this. 
Well, one of the lads was. Oh, man. This is the dude I was saying about. He's got like really cool hairs. He's got like. Five. Oh, shit. It's so it's like daytime, isn't it? To think we'd encounter one here of all places. Oh, he looks freaking awesome, man. Oh, he's already wounded. A Cyclops. Hey, be on your guard. seem I misjudged you. Uh, yes. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed wow, that was kind of cool, dude. dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. What do we get? Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. Oh, cool. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I right? Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Oh, wow. Nice. Cool stuff, dudes. First sort of, like, actual prop fight. Look, look, at, all the, look at all the little hairs on him, man. These big, coarse hairs. Uh, bones, well bones, and bones. You're fond of picking things up, aren't you? That was pretty cool. I, I, I think at some point, did we not like? I think maybe at some point we could have uh, washed him away. Maybe you know. I think somehow that did not the, not part of the dam break or something. Uh, so yeah, it's a tr it's a tricky one, Barry. Skeletons there. They're all fear. Holy light. Starting to PlayStation Five. Glad to up. Should let me gift it. I, I, I was. So I was so close to refunding it, Mr. Matt. Honestly, dude. I, uh, this has cost me... This is my game for, like... Uh, it, it's jeopardised now getting um, no rest for the wicked. We'll have to see what that costs. Um, I, was I, I had a lot of buyer's remorse with this one, Mr. Be Matt. So instead, Not good eh? in the library. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I still might. You, you know, we'll, we'll have to see. How, so how are you getting on with it, dude? I mean, you enjoying it on the PlayStation 5? I mean, the PlayStation 5 at least visually doesn't look too bad. 
And, and, and you know, the, the frame rate isn't great, but at least it's kind of a common consistent. Frustrating, you yeah. say. Yeah, you're going to get we drops. We cannot expect gleaming but, treasures um, around every corner. It's nowhere near as bad as it is on the PC, dude, in terms of the percentage drops that you get. I mean, no, I don't see how anyone can play at like 140 FPS or whatever it's going to be and have them drops down to 30. I just don't know how anyone can deal with that. It's, it's like the brain just gets scrambled, dude. It's, it's almost like vomit inducing. Uh, the mute, so the music's still loud. Is yeah, we did mention this, didn't we? Uh, let's go for how do we do that? System options, uh, audio we want. So turn down, turn it down another notch, and see how that goes, then, dudes. Oh shit! Just let us know. Just let us know, guys. Thanks, uh, Mr. Matt. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I just wanted to see if I'd missed the trick there, Cork. No, I, I did notice, actually. I did notice as well. There was an explosive barrel, wasn't there? I wonder if, like, we could have thrown that at the stop. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe someone did actually do something like that. But obviously... That's it. Now it's like too late, perhaps, you know? Because it did look like something burst, didn't it? I'm quite impressed that he hasn't, like, despawned immediately. Oh, it's a Cyclops. Yeah, I mean, that's actually quite cool. I, I just assumed he'd blink out of existence, like, even while we were talking to the NPC, to be honest. Oh, oh hold the throw bar. Oh, is that a thing? So, oh, dude, nice. Oh, I did not know. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a game changer, dude. I did not know that. Oh, that's going to make it loads better in combat, man. Oh, dude, that makes me realize when I did the poison and the bombs with the Saurian quest, that would have been so useful. Because I just had to, like, you know, guess it, dude. Thanks for that, man. That, that's a really good tip, that is. The input feels a bit laggy when I'm running and want to change direction. Feels like a slight delay, so no lock-on feature. Not that I know of, no. And there was no lock-on feature in Dragon's Dogma 1 either, dude. So no, I don't, I don't think so, Mr. Matt. You, you can't, Crooked Eye. 49 doesn't do anything. You might as well have a 4070 in this game. Makes no difference, bro. Ah, Completely CPU the card bound. Now. Do you intend to join 7800 us? X3D is the best for it. There's nothing better out there. So if you've got a 7800X3D, you're still going to have problems. But the 4090, just, it's just not needed. It, it's, it's always CPU starved. Um, I think we'll make our Very own way well. to the capital. But for your own sake, I recommend you make your way to the capital sooner rather than later. Are you damn up the river? No. In, in fact, we have, we've actually cleared it. At some point, it must have done something. I probably just missed it in the manic nature of the fight. This was blocked a minute ago, Joshua. And then during the fight with the Cyclops, it, it did uh, clear the route for us to continue, see, so. See, yeah, it's, uh... I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. Right, so if I, pre we'll you're saying if I press forwards, She'll show me where it is, will she? No, no. So, so, so it doesn't work on ladders. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Where, we where ought to take a closer a ladder? look. There's an exclamation. Oh, up there. Ah. How would I get up there, dude? I'm not going to, am I? That, there must be an alternate route. That looks like it comes out of, like, a cave system, right? It's like one of those... Uh, I haven't got anything I could throw at it. But I'm going to assume... Maybe if I had a bow and arrow... I could maybe knock it down. But I'm going to guess that's a shortcut, right? 
Now, question is... Now, nah, let's leave it. Let's leave it. How are you, Jabosh? Did you have a nice weekend, dude? How's everyone doing, man? Big hugs, Wentex. Big hugs, man. Well, sounds like you've got a fucking nightmare week in front of you, mate. All the best to you, man. Uh, you love the world and the art style. I have to say, gra graphics are, are, are not the best. Um, but it's a lovely, lovely upgrade over Dragon's Dogma 1. And it, it's more than pleasant. I, I just, you know, it's just for these graphical settings, I would have expected really good performance. So I think that that's the problem, you know. You're going to be looking at it. I mean, look, look at that, you know, as the, as the shadow comes across in those trees. You know, it, it's a good looking game. It, it's not, it's not exceptional. It's not doing anything at all interesting. But she's not a bad looker, man. She's, an, she's a very pleasant environment to be in. Um, bear in mind, this is not vanilla, though. So th th this is not using, you know, like the vanilla stuff. <laughs> Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Yeah, the game does not look like this out of the box, I can assure you, mate. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, it's more than adequate. And, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing some of the... Um, look at that, that's gorgeous. So some of the internals, because that's where Dogma 1 really shined. It was in the caverns and... You know, the, those dark, gloomy... Well, I, mean, I suppose there weren't even that many, but, like, you know, the cavern systems and things. So have a quick look at the map, though. So, like there's anything else over there. Uh, where the hell are we going? Are we going... Oh, wait, it could be miles away. Well, let's carry on. Uh, I'll see what I will do, actually. Let's just go to items, because we're heavy, aren't we? Let's go to... Let's give that to... Oh, a line, a line. Hang on a minute. Let's give that to Monica. That's put, that puts me back on average, doesn't it? If I do this, does it remember who I get? Oh no, it doesn't. So that so there's there's a step back in a way from uh, from Dragon's Dogma One. Oh shit! And I also can't multi choose. Oh fuck! This is actually a step back then. See in Dragon's Dogma One, right? So I wanted to move all three of these things from my inventory to A two, which is the name of the pawn, right? I could have gone click, give. And just clicked it. It would always have gone to the last one that I chose. I wouldn't have to then scroll down. So that's more clicks than we needed. And also I still have to choose the amount. But before it was click, give, click, click. It always chose the last pawn that I'd given something to. So that, that, that's, that's a shame. I also can't multi-select things to, to, to move. But I can in storage... So, for example, if I go to uh, the in, where my stash is, I can go click, 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 and then click, and it will move all five items. So, that, they've kind of improved it in some ways, but not as much as they could have done, sadly. Better not mess up Monster Hunter next year. Well, on, on a positive note... I guess the backlash on this with all the negative reviews and refunds and, you know, really good outlets like Digital Foundry and Gamers Next is absolutely crucifying it. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due From time. From a performance point of view, I think two things. One, let's hope they learn from what's happened here. You know, this is the first time I think RE has, has been... So this is the RE engine, right? I think this is the first time it's been used on this kind of scale, isn't it? Um, RE Engine, I believe, was used in the Monster Hunter Rise on Switch, was it? Maybe? But obviously very, very low graphical fidelity on that. Um, so maybe two things. Cap Capcom are going to have learnt how to better optimise their engines in, in open world games. Or their engine. And, and more importantly... They, they know they're going to have to because uh, you know people are going to be talking about this on, on the lead up to Rise aren't they going I'm not buying it I'm not pre-ordering it until we know what performance is like 
Uh, no black pud. What's that? Don't, no black pud? Black pud? What? what? Um, how is it in comparison to the first one? Better, worse, on par? Uh, I can't I can't tell you overall. But, you know, in the early game, it, it's basically exactly the same as Dragon's Dogma 1. It's just a 2024 version. You, you could almost imagine it, it's like a, a highly stylized remaster at this point. Which I think for Dragon's Dogma fans is brilliant. You know, you've got, you know, the, the vocations have been changed, but all the core mechanics are still there. Uh, visually, it's obviously vastly superior. Um, story is whatever, you know. I'm not saying the first one was amazing, but, you know, it's, it's more than serviceable, right? So, yeah, I mean, if, I, it, basically, if you like Dragon's Dogma 1, you're going to like Dragon's Dogma 2, I think. Um, but if you, if you really didn't like Dragon's Dogma 1, I, I don't think it's changed enough, but, but it depends. It depends on why you didn't like out. Dragon's Dogma 1, you know? Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Oh, sorry, Doc. I'm oh, sorry. I missed what Divine said. Sorry. Let, let me refresh this thing. It's, it's all right. D Divine's message is, is like blurred out. It's, d it's done that weird horizontal slash. I, di I didn't see your comment about the fried breakfast. Sorry, Doc. Uh, all the issues aside, the game is great. In time, they will fix the issues or someone else will fix them via mods for us. Let's hope so, Cynical. Because, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, that, that's, well, that's the only reason I'm playing it. I just want to know if the game is actually any good. If I've managed to sort of solve the technical issues, at least my end. Or, or should I say, reduce the worst offenders. It's still not going to play perfectly. Um, yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to know if the game is just any good, Cynical. And what I've seen so far, I have thoroughly enjoyed, dude. You know, I ended the stream yesterday very much wanting to see more, you know. Uh, make sure you check, check. Yeah, we know about that. Yeah, get careful with spoilers, World Saber. Okay, careful. Uh, that, that, in fact, that's really spoilery, mate, because I didn't even know. Dude, fucking really, bruh. Uh, finished Dogma 1 on Friday night with the fighting class. The dragon fight wasn't too bad. What level were you, Mr. Matt? I might, I might go back to that one and, and do a little bit of. Um, I might go and pop to Black. What was it called? Black. Bit, no, Bitter Black Oil. Uh, it sounds like most people that did the fight at like level 50 through 55 found, found it a little less laborious. You know what I mean? Over the weekend there was still 200. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was down to 100,000 this morning, but that's not prime time. So yeah, there must have been something right. Well, I think the problem is cynical. I mean, I don't know about the consoles because I don't know what the, I don't know what the player count is on there. I, I think the sad thing is is that a lot of people were playing this game. It's an RPG, so a lot of people were, on, on, you know, not wanting to know spoilers. And I think a lot of the performance issues don't rear their head until you get to the first city. And that first city is really, for most players, going to be just outside the refund window, dude. So, you know what I mean? And, and what happens then? You end up with buyer's remorse and people play the game regardless. They can't, they can't send it back. So, so they just play it anyway, dude. But I, I, it, it's not great, dude. It's not great. I mean, it's still sitting on mixed reviews. I think it was like 51% was saying that it wasn't great. That's not good. That's not, that's not a good look on Steam, dude. Yeah, you're, you're right. That, that, don't worry about that de novo DRM banning. I, I mean... I, the, the only side, I think the only real-world example where well, that's going to be a problem, deleting your own save game files, is, is if you're running multiple benchmark runs like, like what we were trying to do. Um... Because you can only do it five times in a 24-hour period before you get locked out. Otherwise, because it counts it as five fresh installs, you see. So the Denuvo DRM on that isn't isn't bad. Um, as far as I know, you don't get banned. You just get locked out for a period of time, don't you, I think? Uh, level 48, level 50, porn, and 45. So, ar yeah, around that level 50. That, yeah, that, that sounds reasonable. Yeah. Was that deliberate by Capcom? No oh, one's was coming to what? assail us. Sorry, what was that? Mayhap what was we've deliberate? scared them all off. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've, 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 I think we hit on, on this account. I, I think this one's got like four resets as the highest. We didn't push it to five. So if you go into your C drive and delete your, and it's normally three, but it, it does vary a little bit depending on what's happened. But you normally got three files you need to delete. You obviously, turn off Steam cloud saving. Delete the files locally. And then when you boot the game up, it's kind of classing it as an additional install. So as long as you don't do that five times in a 24-hour period, you should be absolutely fine. No issues whatsoever. And, and let's be honest, most people wouldn't need to do that. I mean, 
I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying, you know, most players, even if, you know, even if you've made your pawn, you know, you don't like the look of your pawn or, you know, the, there's something you're just not happy with and you want to start a game. I, I can't imagine you needing to do that, like, five times in, in a day, right? I wouldn't have thought so, anyway. It certainly wouldn't be normal, would it? The, the, the biggest problem is for people, like I said, who are benchmarking it, who are trying to, for example, get games winning on the Steam Deck. They got hit hard, um, you know, try, trying to find which version of Proton or what, what tweaks you need to make so you're constantly having some jiggle. Let my magics uh, grant you an elemental boon. What, what was that then? Whoa, 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 I'm so, uh, uh, the amount of times I've gone to block, right, but I can't, because I'm stuck in, I'm stuck in like, uh, you know, like, um, an animation block. But I've got to be way smarter, right? I mean, I've taken a lot of damage now, so, so my max health, I've, I've lost a good one third even. Possibly, you know, quarter to one third of my max health there. See what I mean? Problem with the game, it, it's just, it all happens so fast, man. It really is like every button click needs to be really thought through. You know, there's no spamming attacks. Or anything. I assume those like little ticks. Uh, if that six down to zero, she's perma lost to the rift, right? I'd have to go back and get her again. I don't think anyone got that far already, but is 200 also the map? Oh, I've got no idea, dude. Yeah, no idea. Is that what it was in Dragon's Dogma Dark Risen? 200, was it? I, I know the original game in Dragon's Dogma was like typically around 50, wasn't it? Le level 50-ish was where you kind I of finished I must ask you to refrain from it. charging off. Teamwork is the crux of our strategy. And be such a worry, Walt. I don't know what and I'm then doing. obviously you can get all the way through to level 200, doing all the crazy stuff. Pull back. Oh, oh, yeah, Black Eye always like really where the game started for a lot. Well, Monica's getting absolutely destroyed. Dude. Oh my god. See, even though I have the shield, did I take any damage though? But I need to remember to revive when my health is as oh shit. I think Jesus, why is Monica getting effects? Is it because she's like grossly under leveled now? I think it is, isn't it? They, they, no one levels with you, do they? So although I'm gaining levels, my pawns aren't. Well, I, I think uh, 
I think my primary pool goes, but not mine. Yeah, what are we getting there? I don't, I don't know how to like try and max out all the vacations. It's, just, it's going to be quite hard, like switching from like, you know, I, I guess fighter to mage, isn't it? That was hard one. What fails to destroy Do I want to job washing windows? Need the frames, windows inside and outside. Don't absolutely. I, I, I would love to. I'd, I'd love to. I'd, I'd do that for free for you, mate. Don't you worry. I've got. Uh, I've actually got. Um, I think. I think my dad bought it me. As in, my mom and dad bought it me. Uh, what's it called? Um, what's the very well-known brand? Yellow and black logo begins with a K. Karsha. I think it's called. I've got one of those handheld Karsha window I suppose I ought mention this as well. Um, they're exceptionally this good. Party are women all. Oh, I always thought gimmicky and yet, kind no of thing was amazingly same. good. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Obviously, we haven't really got any like fast travel spots at the minute, so I can't I can't really do a lot at the moment, can I? I think we've just got we've got to keep moving forwards. May, maybe set up camp at some point. I assume if we sleep. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Yeah, you, if I sleep, does ev does everyone in the party get their health back, or is that only at like inns? Let's have a quick look at the map where we are. Because, I mean, it looks like the road's coming all the way around, 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 around. Oh, that's got to be the city, look. Jesus, we're a long way from the city, dudes. A long way. If, if that's where it is. An now, there's view. a little. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. It would be a good place to take stock nice of our look. surroundings. Is this multiplayer or what? No, no. Well, it, no. I, I mean, the answer to that is no. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. However, there are multiplayer elements to it in the same way that there are multiplayer elements, say, to the Dark Souls series. Um, so, to, to best explain it, this is my main character. So I make this character, and that's who I always play as. I then have what's known as a pawn, as in like, like you know, a chess piece pawn. And, and mine is Alania over there who's struggling to get up, and I get to make her or him as well. Um, that's two slots of my four slots. You don't have to fill all four slots up. And then the other two ladies that are with us, this one here and this one here, are actually other players' secondary pawns. So if you played the game Aramok, for example, you would have Aramok. You would then have your pawn, like I have Alania. But then your third slot could be my Alania. You can actually hire, like, my pawn so to come and fight as one of your third and fourth slot characters. And obviously, my what, what's kind of interesting about this game is that as Alania adventures with me she learns about the world she might for example there might be a mob that is particularly weak to ice and she's figured that out so if she joins your party and you come across those mobs she will actually let you know that you know they're weak to ice and if she's got an ice spell for example she will use it over the fire spell that she might have so there, there is a multiplayer component it's just not in the conventional sense that you know you and i you know you can't come and play as alania in my game you know and control her and cast spells it's one of those sort of like uh softly softly hybridizations beep, 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 last oh, that was one nice. rip that was not uh Sandy, oh god excuse me dude <coughs> sorry i've not had a chance to get back to you Sandy. I, honestly i mean divine since you sent me a message as well dude. i've just not been back I, I just can't catch up at the moment Sandy. just not having time dude i hope you had a lovely birthday man i hope all is well mate and obviously massive thank you for the uh the 79 and the tier 3 dude huge respect mate and like i said just to everyone out there if you are considering subbing 
please, please, please do consider, at the very least, doing it through Patreon. Um, we'd be very, very grateful. Obviously, for a multitude of reasons, Patreon is a much better way, much better way to support me individually, uh, you know, than it is through any other means for a whole bunch of reasons. Um, let me just. Very well, I shall return. I know it's Monica has not been healed. So if I if I do some me, my curative magics are at your disposal. And heal. Wait right there. There we go. Yeah, Alania well, doesn't seem as keen to heal other people, does she? Quite often, if I if I'm low, she, she'll she'll give me a little tickle. But did you have a nice birthday, Sadie? Uh, it sounds like you had a nice, pleasant, quiet one, dude. Just like just the immediate family, was it, mate? And thank you very much, dude. Thank you. What level am I? And how is your vacation already at level five without even reaching the first big city? Uh, what level? I, I, I don't even know how to check that, mate. I am level nine. Um, my pawn is also level nine. And my other dudes, they're actually, they're not that weak. They're level seven. So, so normally I would say within two to three levels is the sweet spot for a pawn, isn't it? So, so they're not actually, she's not that weak. Maybe she's just a really shit pawn. She might just not be a very well-equipped ranger or whatever she is. I really want to get up there because I can see I can see some herbs up there. Look. This could be where that uh, skill that we've got with the shield, where I can like bounce them up there, you know? I think I'll leave it. Let's just crack on, alright? Um. Yeah, I was, I was back to ask as he said. So what happened then, dude? So you, you were playing a game. You had some sort of power kill or something, did you? Uh, you're right, Aramite. How much does Twitch take from subs? Uh, Twitch are 50%. Uh, unless you get, like, the partnership sort of... Uh, well, it's not partnership. It's nothing to do with partnership. But unless you get the... Uh, you, you have to get something like 350 standard subs over th every month for three months to get, like, a 70-30 split. Which I, I've never, I've never really pushed for. I've never asked people to stick their neck out for that. But obviously, full demonetization is taking the piss. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's no go. We just have to see. We'll have to come up with a way to, to manage it. But you know, if we, if we lose some good friends over it, we'll lose some good friends over it. But I, I can't do it for nothing, dude. You know what I mean? I, I, and I, personally, I could. If I didn't have anyone else to worry about, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'd, I'd just say take partners. We'll just carry on playing it as we used to. But I, I, the girlfriend. I, I I want the girlfriend to quit her job as soon as she can at some point, man. Um, she ain't, she ain't got a lot of time left before serious things start happening. So, I, I've got I've got to be real, man. I've got a family to look after, so uh, I, I can't I can't just waste seven. And, and it's not wasting. I know like it's a weird word, master. but it, it's something I've, I've got to get in my head. Because that's the way you. she's gonna start seeing it, isn't it? Uh. I de gaff about my birthday as long as mom sees me. All... How is she, dude? How is she doing, man? Uh, you had a power cut, and since then you can't sign into Windows. I wonder what's Another happened there. You, you've got to think of Windows is still maybe rather than a power issue. Let's imagine the launch with a mental boom. I, li I like it when it's like a little fight like that on flat level land with a little less grass bothering me. You know, that, that felt like I actually sort of was in the fight there. Hang on. Then I shall remain by your side. Everyone get back here and get a bleeding heal. Alright. Heal. There we go. Uh, cheers, Doc. Thank you. Uh, I, I was the tech expert in one of the busiest O2 mobile stores in the country. It was a shite job and was basically pushed out. Crazy, it was 10 years ago. Uh, I can't let you work for free, but if you don't want money, I can paint Puff Puff. Uh, <laughs> homemade food and baked goods. Oh, dear, me. A little bit of the Puff Puff. I wouldn't say no right now. Mate. Anything to take the fucking edge off life, I think, mate. Keep your eyes peeled as we cross. Who can say what awaits us on the other side? Perhaps. See what I mean? Well, when the combat's like slowed down a little bit, oh, that's a nice find. That is a nice find. Uh, what do we want to take, boys? We want to take that, don't we? 
Very nice. Very nice. Good, good stuff today, man. Uh, you can't reset. So you can't. You can't reset. Windows. I've done that before when I had a rage. Have you tried just reinstalling Windows? Like, like doing a full repair on Windows. If that makes sense. Or, or even try logging into your Microsoft account, maybe from another person's computer, perhaps. You know? Not like... I suppose there can be no else's. harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. I don't know, like logging into your actual Microsoft account via someone's laptop or something, so... Didn't hear me. Uh, I, I'm already healed. That, that, that's, I can't heal above that, Jaboshua. So I, I've got I've got a tiny nick to my health, which can be healed. But so I oh, can't get that green bar that. back up to the max. So every time I take like a bit of damage, it also damages my maximum health a little bit until I properly rest. So the longer I'm out here, the, the more dangerous things are going to get. Um, let's have a look at this map, dude. It's a long freaking way, isn't it, dude? It is a long... I think we're going to have to set a camp. Uh, which is fine, because I, I think we've got two camping kits, haven't we? So you log to... Oh, so you log to... Oh, so you, oh, so you can log into your Microsoft game. It's, it's just that PC, is it, then, Sadie? Yeah, it's just, it's just not letting you log in at all, man. Uh, morning, Max. Morning, Dan. How you doing, guys? What were you playing, Sadie? You were uh, here for some seven days or something, or? Uh, did you unlock the perfect block mechanic? Any idea if you can change the controls to DD1 with block being L1 instead of R1? Uh, well, I could anyway, because I could just do it on my elite controller. Uh, whether or not you can customize the key bindings for that, I don't know. I, I did, yeah. I've got I've got the one where I, I can, in theory, perfect block. But to be honest, dude, the, the way the combat is out in the wilderness, the chances of me getting that are few and far between. Man. I grant you five God, well. oh my God. I really need that uh, upward slash skill, don't I? I think not. Yeah, I'm having trouble here. His arm is going to... Ah, oh, this is so annoying, Beaver. A sword of board. The rhythm has been put to sleep. Oh. That will give me a tutorial. Uh, this debilitation causes you to be overcome by a sudden onset of fatigue, plunging you into a deep and defenceless... Oh, that's what the bubbles was. Oh, the bubbles actually used sleep. We were right with the goblin. Now, is anyone going to get me up? This don't look good. This don't look good at all, does it? It looks like incoming damage. Oh, Alania was uh, damaged as well. Vital, you remain level-headed. We need, need one of the rounds to like knock one to the ground so we can get out, don't we? Otherwise, I'm not like, completely helpless as a, as a man. I need spy and slash that I really. Right where it hurts. Sure your neck is no less If I can get to the ones who are on the ground, we'll be alright. Ah! Alright, probably shouldn't have done that. <coughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was a bad call, right? I can still hear one. Oh no, Jesus! Oh, jeez, we're getting that wasted. That was well much. thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No yeah, well, I think we were just a few discipline points short, weren't we, of uh, Skyward Slash? But see, the thing is, even Skyward Slash isn't that great. Because obviously it just means I can, I, I can attack a little bit higher, but it's not like a, an arrow. You know, I, I'm still going to be very range limited on it. 
Uh, got some PC. Uh, got your PC some love yesterday. My cooler master fans have been bugging me for two plus years. So much noise. So let's go with some shiny new Noctua 120 Chromax Blacks. Nice, dude. Nice. Very nice. I, I, I did treat myself to the uh, Noctua NHD15 Chromax Black. It's it's a work of fucking art, dude. Water cooling all in ones can go fuck themselves. That thing is an absolute fucking beast, bro. Uh, morning, Starkey. How you doing, bro? And now you're broke. <laughs> Needing to replace six fans. Bought three new Noctures because they're so damn expensive. They're not cheap, are they, dude? The real question is, did you buy the right ones? <laughs> Not until I have a whole bunch of different fans. They're, they are not all created equal, man. Okay. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined. Did I take a skill for those? Shall we set it I going? didn't have enough. Well, if you mean Skyward Slash, no, Shades, I didn't have enough discipline. We should have now. I mean, if we, if we can make, if we, if we, if we can survive to get into a. These fiends will resurrect so long as their skulls remain intact. See, uh, the, my but problem is right. The I skill I've got with the block. Um, I don't feel it's quick enough. It's a bit, a little bit like uh, Mr. Matt said earlier. Everything feels like it's. It, everything has a while to happen. So, you know, you know, in a game like where you've got a parry uh, and, and you click a button, it's, it's like almost instant, you know? So it's really just about finding the sweet spot. You know, are you doing it just before the sword hits you? Are you doing it just as the animation starts? You know, every game's got that like, little detail, isn't it? About where you click the parry. I mean, it's just finding the sweet spot. The problem with this is it's so slow to bring the shield up. It, it really is. Um, I, I think that parry is going to be almost pointless uh, unless it's against much slower heavier hitting things you know where you can really sort of you know the tells there like an hour before kind of thing uh i hope everything's well with you or as best as yeah i mean we just gotta see what happens don't we it's a day at a time at a minute starkey just gotta plod along a few more days we've got the easter weekend coming up haven't we mate uh, the NFA 12s. Are they are they the proper case fans, are they? Yeah. Because you've got to be careful with the, with the Chromax stuff, dude. The, the stuff that's specifically designed for, like, intakes and things. It, it's really complicated, the Noctua stuff, mate. I had a long chat with this with Permarin. Uh, and it turned out he absolutely had bought the wrong fans. He, he, did, he didn't want to believe me, but... <laughs> uh... You're right, Yeti. How are you doing? Sorry, Yeti. I missed you there, mate. How are you, Yeti? Good morning. Sorry, bro. You've been there for ages. How's things, Yeti? Uh, when you take damage, not only is your remaining health reduced, but the maximum health you can recover. This is what I was just saying, Jaboshua. Uh, you can recover is reduced also. The loss gauge represents this temporary reduction and is likely to accumulate if you do not rest between battles. Your maximum health will remain reduced even after the battle is over. Well, I, th I think we know this. Lost Gage can only be recruited by resting until in all campsite. Perfect, so it is a campsite. Keep your party. So we really, we really need to survive this. Let my magic and you get to uh, Allow me. Point right there. Oh no! I'm going to assume that boulder's bad, right? Even if it's coming through slowly. I'm doing alright, yeah, yeah. How's how are you getting on with the uh, Night of the Dead? Not Night of the Dead. What's it called, dude? Oh, what's it called, bro? Well, maybe it is Night of the Dead. I don't know. That doesn't sound right, dude. I feel like I've got the name wrong there, bro. Just thing ten. What? What I have or you have, uh, Rob? I, I, all I need is I really need a campfire. Otherwise, we're gonna lose a shit ton of progress here. Uh, and it will it will be catastrophic. Um, let's at least throw in a manual save. Not that it will help if it gets overwritten, but we have found a material. 
Different combinations of materials result in different is it creations. Called nine? Oh, it is called nine. Isn't it? it's, you know, when I said it out loud like that, you know, sometimes when you vocalise a thought in your head and it's like, nah, that doesn't sound right, bro. I think my uh, lamp needs some oil as well, doesn't it? That's got to be a campfire there, yeah. But we, we've got to be careful. We must make sure we clear the area of enemies. Otherwise, things happen, don't they? I saw a couple of gobbos on the other side of the bridge. See what I should probably be doing. Um, let's, go, let's go to items and let's go to combine. I don't have any ripe apples, do I? Now, is that because I've given them all to someone else? No. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I mean, apples I can combine with the green warish, can't I? And what about grapes? We could do it with grapes as well. And then that's, that's a whole bunch of healing pots. But <laughs> they're only for in combat, right? What is fruit? What does fruit robberant actually do? Uh, oh, it's a great deal of health, whereas the slubrush is a fair amount of health. Ah, right. So I really need to be. T I don't like this system at all, to be honest. I don't like the idea of having to come into the inventory just to see if my apples have like ripened. It it's just a dumb ass fuck way to play a video game, isn't it? By all means, like, let, let the rotten ones do something else, which I, I assume they do. But I don't want to keep coming into the inventory just to see if an apple's ripened. It's, it's just not the hero's way, is it? You know what I mean? They're a little bit lighter, are they, the robber ants? Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's, just, it's just not a fun game mechanic, is it? I mean, I'm all for item degradation. You know, if you don't do something with your apples, we'll get them back you know soon you know they're gonna spoil i'm fine with that but this ripening thing is just it's just dumb uh morning doctor no, this is how are you how are you getting on with it? i assume you're playing this are you how are you getting on with it dude so far i'm quite enjoying it it's 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 a good you know it feels like a good adventure I tell you what, no matter what we say about this game or you know whatever else comes out between now and Elder Scrolls, El Elder Scrolls have got to be looking at stuff, right, and thinking, "Fucking hell, dude! What what are we gonna do, bro? Uh, what what is Bethesda gonna do? Oh my God! You see what I mean? Even though I even like literally as he started jumping, then I grabbed that shit, and it, it just takes so long to ready. We gotta be careful here, man. We gotta be really careful. And, oh shit, wolves! Oh, this is bad. Oh no! Oh no, this is really bad, dudes. I'm just constantly stun locked, man. I would kill for a roll. Like, like a roll is just like, it was so useful in uh, my feet. Oh, I need to get this fucking phone call, guys. Sorry about this.
<laughs> first, first thing I saw when I came back through is just like Sadie going like, Caps Lock can go F itself. Uh, you are right, Possum. How are you, mate? How's things? Uh, yeah, sorry, mate. I just had to, I just took a phone call. Uh, right, we're, we're getting and mullered, aren't we? We're getting absolutely mullered. This, this is, this is not good, mate. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I thought I thought that was one of those uh, ghosts. My end. My next Oh my god, these wolves, bro! There's, oh, there's millions of them. There's like literally millions of them. Oh, it is! It is one of those ghosts. I believe your story is going to extinguish our lantern. Let's keep summoning it unwittingly. Oh no! <laughs> At least we're in the healing circle. Only attacks are our best bet against this. Well played, Lana. Everyone on me. Let just me know what's Make sure everyone's on me. Great nice. Oh, that was well played. That was well played. Hey, this is quite cool. I was saying yesterday, like the game seemed uh, quite easy, didn't it? Like it was sort of like just a bit brain dead. Gotta be careful how far you push with the campfires. Uh, sorry, the ca yeah, what well, is campfires, isn't it? Uh, Master, right. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. No, you and me both, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got to be really careful. You can but at least we've cleared this area present, for the campfire. I shall be ready we? to render aid at a moment's notice. Because otherwise, I'm going to assume what happens is we put a campfire down and we say, "Okay, let's rest." But then, if there's if there's like enemies nearby, I assume what happens is. Um, you can get interrupted and then you won't get all the health back, but you do lose the campfire, yeah? Or at least the camping kit, I'm assuming. Um, we want to combine... We want to combine... Oh, just add oil. Now, I can make oil, can't I, from the rotten... The rotten... I don't remember what it was now. It was the rotten fruit and something. Uh, enjoying it. Cleared out a few caves last night and managed to take down a Minotaur by just... Oh, there's Minotaurs. Oh, that's... I don't think I saw a Minotaur in Dragon's Dogma 1. But let's, let's be careful with spoilers, guys. Be careful with spoilers. Just, just think, think, think before we type a little bit. So I'm sure they weren't in Dragon's Dogma 1, were they? Um, right, okay. Let's make camp. Uh, equip... Oh, you can equip skills without camping. Oh, that's quite handy. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, that's good. Make camp. Uh, modest camping kit. Seven kilos. Confirm. Yes. No, it's all right, Doctor Nasus. Just, just careful, because like, like I said, I mean, I, although I've pl played one, I didn't, I didn't. I've got quite looking forward to that. Monitors must be freaking awesome, right? Uh, so far, I think the only thing I thought was a gorgon. Uh, which, which was right at the start, and, and I just fought my first Cyclops. I don't think I fought anything big yet, to be honest with you. So we can equip skills. Rest till nightfall, rest till morning. Re okay, so, so it's fairly straightforward. There's not like a campfire to strengthen the bonds of fellowship. Have a sit down with the girls. These what? moments are precious, to be sure. Uh, you're right, lawyer. How are you, bro? <clears throat> the hardest part of the hardship is behind you now. It fucking ain't. What, what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, any job news? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've signed up to some agencies just just so I've got like the option of like just even if I like find something that works for the schedule um, that the girlfriend and I typically have, which is going to be difficult. Um, there's nothing to stop me taking some agency work, to be honest, dude. Oh shit, I've got a missed call. I need to get this. Fuck. Talk of the devil. Um, how do I call that back? Because it's only showing in my text messages, not in my recent missed. What the fuck is that? Uh, let me just ring this number back, guys. Sorry about this.
such a magnificent tapestry of stars. It's no great shock to me. Methinks we could move this boulder if we work together. Would anyone care to push? I'm back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, they don't get held back by sleeping. Yeah, 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 they do. Yeah, I've not slept yet, dude. Uh, I'll have a sit down with the, sit down with the team, dude. Uh, so if we rest until morning, we should be good to uh, adventure on, shouldn't we? I wonder if there is anything that you can get your max health back with. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Or is it only That's through camping then. and resting? I'm going to assume it is the latter. Only through camping. That seems to be what it was inferring. But I wonder if there are any like... Oh, wow, look. Oh, the bridge moves. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, whoa, dude. <laughs> That's like really weird. It's like it started off as like, oh, that's kind of cool. And it went it, it into, oh, that's really weird. <laughs> There's a chest over there, look, right above my head. There, look. Uh, I don't think we're getting. Yeah. We're not getting that, are we? You're a bit sore. Muscle hurt. The little, the little miss asked, Dad, can I touch the ceiling? Okay. So I picked her up. But she jolted her knee up at the same time and gave me a right hard uppercut on the chin. <laughs> oh no, dude! I knocked your lights out. It was a one and a half second round. Is she all right? I mean, fuck you, dude. Was she all right? You didn't drop her, did you, mate? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> was she a little, uh, a, li a little overzealous, playing Spider-Man with Daddy? Was she? Oh, mate. I assume you're okay, fella. I, I've been watching, uh, I've been watching some of the uh, Jake Paul fights, and uh, you got to be really careful what you watch of Tyson because a lot of it is quite old, and, and of course the internet's like claiming it's all really, really recent. But there I is some footage out there of, of Tyson so training but at, least at the I know moment. I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all I'll that vim goes to waste. I, I, I wouldn't want to get into a ring with Tyson if he was fucking. F that's my magic grant you an elemental boost. That, 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 I, I, know, I know the dude claims he's mellowed a lot, right? And he smokes a lot of the old back. <laughs> I still wouldn't want to get in a ring with him, bro. I'm telling you, man. I mean, Paul can it. I mean, you, you know, I mean, credit where credit is due. He, he, he can definitely fuck it. You wouldn't want to get it. An by exemplary him, I tell you. performance. But, uh, yeah, that is. Let us what try the for the same result man. with our next attack. What are they all thinking, dude? Goes to show they've done it. Any, anything for a fucking bit of money, man. All right, let's grab the uh, grab the booty, loody. I don't know about okay. you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Uh, hang on a minute. Oi, where, who, Monica, get your ass over it. We've only just got up, darling. What's the matter with you? What a whingy bunch of arseholes, man. Like, literally just used a whole camp kit, got out me apples. <laughs> Oh, Sadie, if you're out there, dude, you've got it. I don't know if you're into MMA fighting or anything, dude. And the UFC and all that, dude. But if you want to watch a really cool film, right, watch Roadhouse. 
It's got, uh, it's Jake, I, I call him Gillenhall, but apparently that's not how you pronounce it. it it's got Jake Gillenhall in it, and it's got Conor McGregor in it. Uh, and it, it is like, like one of the best things I've seen in ages. Every man. little trinket you find. Uh, it's like one of those films you watch where you're just thinking like, what the actual McDickens is going on here, right? <laughs> but it's so worth a watch, man. Don't blame the poor. I oh, know it's Monday morning, dude. I've just given them fresh coffee and a bagel. And they're already whinging about side. being tired. What the hell was that? Oh my God, the Jesus! Who's this asshole? Is he not dead? Whoa, where did he come from? Everyone on me, boys. So, uh, not a scratch. Uh, <laughs> sorry for the damage, Donna. We had a splendid weekend of a drawing missing? contest with little girls. Who won? Lost. Did it, was there a standout drawing, dude? Morning, Emmy. How are you? How's Mark and everyone? Oh, uh, I, I'm going to assume Alexandra and Honey are off this week, are they? Is it this week and next week they're off? Um... Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm mm. in picking a few. This looks like some one lone dude, doesn't it? There's no one else here. That's kind of weird. Oh, what's the? Oh, what's this? Forgot oh a forgotten rift stone. Uh forgotten rift stones can be found in various locations throughout the world, and when you touch one, one of two events will occur. The rift stone will either be restored or oh sorry, no, no, no. Uh, you will be able to use the restored rift stones to summon unique pawns of a different nature. Yeah, okay. Or a high level pawn will be summoned. A single high level pawn will be summoned, after which the rift stone will disappear. You'll be able to hire this pawn without paying any rift crystals. I don't, I don't know if I like the idea of that, personally. I'd rather it was just a rift stone. I, I think I'll count that as the win. Um, let's go, let's go and reset. Well, I, that's what I thought. I, I, I thought there were... I, I genuinely thought that... For some reason, I don't know why, Shanks. I just thought there were three people there. There's only the one dude, right? Uh, we started watching a new Netflix series. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, three second problem or three body problem? We were talking about three body problem, which is based on a series of books. I'm going to assume that's what you mean. Uh, Mark's AK okay, tidy. He's going to sleep for a while. No kids break up on Thursday. Honey has a half day. And I've just got back from dropping Alexander off for his last work experience. Oh, so, so yours, yours are breaking up like... Do, they, do yours have two weeks then, Emmy, or not? I wonder if I maybe I've got confused with Advenus. The Gentleman on Netflix. It, it's all right. Yeah, the, the show was good. I mean, I enjoyed the film. That was Matthew McConaughey. And then, what's his name? Uh, he, he was the dude who was married to Madonna, really. But what's his name? He, he did, like, Snatch and all that, like, thing. Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. What, what's his name? Guy Ritchie, something like that. Yeah, Gentleman's pretty good. We, we enjoyed it. I, th I think it, it got a bit meandery, you know? I, I think it could have been shortened a bit. But yeah, it was good. I, I, I liked all the actors. Uh, it, it was good. It was a good view. Uh, but we were, we were kind of happy when it was done. You know, when, when, the, when the credits ended on the general, it was like, thank, not, not thank God, but yeah, that, that was good watch. Time to move on. Yeah, three body. I'm, I'm going to assume that's what Starkey means. Yeah, That's what everyone was talking about earlier. When, when Tex uh, binged it yesterday, Starkey watched all 10 episodes. I think overall everyone's saying it's pretty solid, but bear in mind it is it is based on books in the same way Game of Thrones was based on Martin's books. And, and it's the same people. So the people that essentially created the Game of Thrones series are the same people, or at least some of them are, that wrote the books of Three Body Problem, apparently. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it, actually, Starkey. Could be, could be a good watch, that. Uh, Scotland go a week before us, Wales a week. Oh, is that how it was? Ah, uh, so, so Advina's little ones are presumably off at the minute. Then. Kind of makes it makes more sense this week. Have this week off, and then the bank holiday weekend, and then also have next week off. That's that's actually a better way of doing it, to be honest. Uh, pawns in the rift. 
Oh, I, I need to dismiss my other ones first, don't I? Um, Monica, you, you've been really good. I hate. I this enjoy place. tackling fierce foes. The, the, and this new game rid of your pawns is trash. Here, this is everything that's wrong with video games today. Everything. This blandness of the world. This refusal to accept that we we can rate things that there is good that there is bad that, that not everything has to be positive yeah, I, I think it's disgusting the old system was so good i fucking hate this it, it just needs to be fucking removed it's pathetic and it, it, it is so symptomatic of modern day societal bullshit fuck you dude fuck you uh all told i'm rather satisfied with my performance I don't care because it's just a dumb ass system and it needs to be removed because it deeply offends me. It seems fate has seen fit to reunite us. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I used to love this part of, of like this, like because it made me think over like all the all the things that we've done. God, modern, the modern day world sucks donkey dicks, dude. I have nothing to share at present. It made me think about, like, all the memories, all the battles we had. I mean, it was like, pause and think, you know. Were, were you any good, you know? Look at this. Oh, I love it. You got a thumbs up, or I really like it. It's so lame. Oh, fuck so you, our paths diverge here. Fuck you, Capcom. It surely won't be long ere they converge anew. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic, man. The world needs to grow a pair of fucking... Dicks, balls, and tits, and grow the fuck up, man. Right, anyway. Um, uh, pawns in the rest. So we want to... Oh, no! Hang on a minute. Is this not a normal summoning stone? Hang, hang on, what's going on here, dude? Is, is, is something wrong here? It's a rift stone of remembrance. Is that different to a normal rift stone? So, so I can't like say, oh, you know, I want a. I, I'm confused. Uh, morning, opossum. Morning, Advina. Uh, morning, Mario. Uh, your mum and dad are coming. Oh, nice. So, so mine's uh, mine's past days on the 29th of March, and they are back on the 15th. Oh, so it's not a week out then. So, if Emmys are breaking up this Thursday, yours. Well, they can't be in on Friday, because isn't Friday a bank holiday, Edvina? Or do you not get... Do you not get... Hang on, I thought 29th of March was this Friday, and that was Good Friday. The kids don't go to school on Good Friday, do they? Have I got the wrong day? It's the 25th today, right? Yeah, they can't be in on the 29th. So I've my cornflakes? No, no. I, I, just, I, I just despise the fact that the whole world is becoming this softly, softly bullshit doc. I think it's. I think we need to stand up to it. I, I think people need to grow a fucking pair of balls, dude. I'm tired of this tiptoeing around, dancing on eggshells crap. To be honest, mate. Not about pissing in my cornflakes. I just refuse to bow to this weird shit that's going on. If you don't like something, it's okay not to like something. Uh, I got a trophy. Like your comment there. Uh, I got. <laughs> I got a trophy for finding the gates. Uh, Mark exits it on the map. It is, I was going to say, the kids will be well pissed off if they're on Good Friday, Envina. You're up, Mario, am I? Uh, talk to me, continue to watch or not. I don't want to spoil my playthrough. I've not even gotten to the main city yet, Mr. Matt. <laughs> I, mean, it'd be, I mean, what will be interesting, Mr. Matt, is once I get to that main city, does the game like suddenly blossom? You know what I mean? I, I'm still not sure about this, then. So this is definitely not a normal Rift Stone, is it? Uh, I can only see, like, pawns that I've encountered in the past or leave. So, actually, I probably shouldn't have got rid of them. Because there's Rook and Honor, which were my... Like, oh, look. Rook's now level 10, though, look. Oh, no. This is bad for me. Because this means, like, Poppy... Uh, this means Abby's overpowered for me now, look. Oh, that sucks, dude. Oh, wow. The, the, so, these, these Rift Stones out in the world are actually quite catastrophic for a player like me, though. I, I, I'm almost like better off not using them because obviously my my uh, 
Hang on, what about the ones I just... Hang on, the ones that I just dismissed, can I get them back? Oh, I can. Yeah, I can. Oh, that's not so bad then. Yeah, yeah, all right. That's actually... But I wouldn't want to take a level 18. That would completely break my game. Uh, who was the other one I had? Hang on, I've never taken someone called Poppy. Because he's a Khajiit, so he can go fuck himself. I, I have never had that, have I? Ever. It says, find pawns. You've oh, encountered in the past. So it might not be ones we've had on the team. It might just be ones that we've seen, like, on the road and stuff, right? Although, actually, no, hang on a minute. Didn't I? Oh, no, I did. I accidentally recruited this dude, didn't I? Remember? Uh, I, I, I may have spammed the buttons in hatred so quickly I accidentally hired him. But, so there's... Where's the two that I had, then? I think I've dismissed them. I shouldn't have done that, should I? There's Honor. Where's the other one? Uh, A2 was their name, wasn't it? A A2's disappeared. Well, I'll tell you what then, I'll have to take... I'll have to I'm take glad walk. to see you in such fine battle. Uh, I knew age, we'd same not be long me, apart. Oh, what's this? Uh, pawns are awarded badges as a mark of their accumulated knowledge and expertise, whether that be proficiency in combat or experience exploring. Pawns with badges are more helpful to the arisen in, the, in word and deed. Monster badges are awarded to pawns who have defeated a certain number of a particular type of monster. Such pawns are by then so experienced with a creature in question that they know the best way to defeat it and will offer beneficial advice. Okay. Um, field banks is rewarded to pawns who have camped a sufficient number of times in a particular region. When adventuring in said region, the pawn will display their knowledge of the area by... Oh, that's, uh, yeah, all right. That's a good system. I like that. Uh, Specialisations. Specialisations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. Right. Okay. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently, and this can result in unexpected consequences. Okay. However, with a little patience, planning and due care, specialisations can prove very useful. All right. If you'd like your pawn to, a pawn to learn a specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world. What the fuck? Why is it so convoluted, man? It's just, it's just so, like, wishy-washy, isn't it? A pawn can only require one specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry. So, so do we do that in the normal way that we'd, like, gain a skill then, yeah? Is, is this like a little bit... Well, no, it's, it's going to be separate to inclinations, isn't it? But uh, Let me get... I'm going to have to take... You look you upon again. me so you're, you're going to be a bit low level, aren't you, mate? What marvellous ill fortune that I should suffer you twice. I had... I had... Abby and A2, I think, didn't I? So, so I, th I think because I dismissed them, they just vanished. This is the only... Uh, these were the original ones. Honour and... Who was the other one? Oh, I can't see now. Uh, maybe Honor and Poppy we had originally? I can't remember. Bit bit of a broken system there, to be honest. Just remember not to dismiss, guys. Otherwise, you could really end up messing things up, couldn't you? Uh, you're right, Possum. Uh, our company took our Good Friday away. It's a floating holiday. We can take it uh, whenever, but they don't want everyone off all at once on a weekday. Yeah, I mean, that, that's not uncommon. I mean, because obviously it's a huge, um, like, retail day, Jaboshua. So I, I do get that. Because you know, a lot of people do like go shopping on, you know, Friday and Monday, don't they? Uh, uh, it's that phrase there, Grub. That, that's, that's, that's got women these days trying to grow an actual pair of balls. What's that? Are you right, Jameson? How are you, man? What, 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 hang on, what did I do for five seconds, Shade? <laughs> I wonder if you didn't go to Mel and just walk to the capital, what would happen? Uh, I wonder if you didn't go to Mel. You can't get out. You can't get out of Mel. You can't carry on, dude. Because the gate's locked. I, I don't think there's a way to get past it, is there? If I remember. Yeah, she might have been Starkey. Yeah, I, I, think I, I think I messed up there, dude. But it, it, it's still too early, isn't it? You're right, Buck. How are you, man? How's things? Um, right, let's go. Let's go. We have found we've got everything material. we need. We've got, we've got a low level sure pawn, we'll so we just need to be a little careful. Um, 
I'm just, I'm just they'll add fishing. Everyone, everyone likes a spot of fishing. I, I personally couldn't give a toss, but... Okay, okay. Wonder what, did anyone ever play, like, the MMO of Dragon's Dogma? A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in Because it was only you. released, sort of like, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I guess in the eastern corner of the world. But uh, I, I don't know in what, uh, what territory specifically. I, I think I remember seeing a little bit of footage of it many moons ago on YouTube. But yeah, that 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 new porn rating system—it's it, just awful, dude. What, what, why are companies just like? What, what is the matter with people, dude? Who makes these stupid? I mean, you, you know, you make a dumb decision like that, and then you also make a dumb decision on MTX. I mean, Capcom are like oh, fucking hell, dude. That they, they have not done themselves any favors with some of the decisions they've made here. And I think even the Monster Hunter fanboys are probably sitting there going like. Argh. <laughs> what does this mean for the Monster Hunter franchise? Capcom are a very strange company, aren't they? Same as Konami. Hey, you watching it, but how far you got, mate? We, we, I'm just trying to think what happened at the end of our sort of, sort of little mini session yesterday. The girlfriend wasn't really feeling up to it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know you know the cough? You know the cough I've been talking about? That everyone's been getting it around here. It's this tickly cough that people have had for weeks, right? But but it's not bad, yeah? The girlfriend's got it, yeah? It's gone straight to her chest, mate. Coughing and gurgling all over the fucking Let me place. Get that. It's, it's awful, mate. She just does not catch a break, mate. It's awful, mate. She's, uh, and, and she got, she had to go and get a new inhaler. And, and they fucked it up. And she got an inhaler that she's never had before. A whole new colour. <laughs> I didn't pay a lot of attention. She was having a bit of a rant in the kitchen. I, I left her to it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, it's just fucking... It's, she don't off. Like, it's just shit, mate. You're well fond of picking fucking things up, aren't you? Shit, dude. But yeah, we watched uh, at the end of yesterday... I think it was the scene where Tyrion Lannister... They're, they're sitting at the table to trying to figure out like what they're going to do to defend King's Landing against all, all the encroaching armies. And um, he says something like, what, what have we got? And, and he just says, pig shit. And then it kind of fades to black. So I'm like, what? I, I don't remember it at all, man. <laughs> We've been down into the, like, into the cellars. This ox guard was beset underneath. by assailants it could not shake. King's and this Landing. is the result. With the, what's Wrought it called? By the, the hands of brigands. Or the claws of monsters. Careful now. You know all the highly explosive... Ooh, what's this? Ooh, have we found a cave? Well, let's, go, let's go and check out over here first. Looks like there's a little hot or something down here, doesn't it? Where, where are those wolves, man? Oh, there they are, there they are. Attack. You must have wolves! There! Let my magic imbue your weapon to destroy the element. Keep it tight, keep it clean, boys. Keep it tight, keep it clean. Come get him. Are you playing anything in a minute, Doc? Anything like... Exciting. You, are you getting anyone here getting uh, no rest for the wicked? Because we're, we're, we're a couple of weeks away now, aren't we? Oh, did everyone get all the emails? I, I, I know, so like, I'm, I'd let you all down a bit Why? on this one. Uh, you once come you. Because we, we, we got to allow ourselves oh, shit. to become no sense in letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the word. Damn, I, I'd pump out some serious damage if I can get that uh, onslaught cooking. Man. Yeah, remember once human, I, I got sent like codes and stuff, and, and I, I didn't think anyone. Like, see, you gotta remember, like no one else gave a shit about it. Right? It was only because of the disaster that was the day before that people started paying attention to it. So no one had really mentioned it. So I, I gave the codes out to like people that. 
I, I just kind of knew ra rather than three three like I suppose the, the, the community directly here. There seems to be no interest in it, but uh, excellent. I could have done no better. I, I know I know some folks are interested in it now. So. Oh shit, that's a lot of dudes coming up, man. I'm really str- Oh man, that was good, that was good. That was good. That was good. Okay. Okay. The path to victory are myriad. I was getting shield back, you know. That strategy never would have occurred to me. But anyway, now going back to what I was saying, sorry, hard to focus. Um, if you are interested in once human, make sure you're all signed up. Stuff's happening. I obviously can't, can't say everything that's going on, but yeah. Once human, if, you, if you're getting ready to play it, uh, the new closed beta and all the rest of it. If we get sent any codes, I'll let you know over on Discord. Not sure. I, I assume you won't need to worry about it this time. I, I think they'll just let everyone in, but just make sure you're signed up if that makes sense. Are you coughing up green stuff, Amy Jameson? Yeah, it, it's so annoying, dude, though. I, I, like, for the last few weeks, you know, people have been coming well. to chat saying they're I poorly. I shall lend you and, my aid. You do seem to be in need of it. You know, I've just been saying, you know, around here, the only thing that's kicking off is, is this damn tickly cough, man. And, it, and it's just a tickly cough, dude. There's no fever. You, you don't feel bad. There's no headache or anything. It's just a really annoying tickly cough. Well, the girlfriend had a tickly cough back end of last week. Over the weekend, it's like, oh, man. It's like she's gurgling. It's awful, bro. They've ditched the blue in hand. Yeah, I think, I think she said it was a... I don't know. I think she said pink. But I, I, she was on the phone to someone, mate. I did, having a rant with one of her friends. I don't fucking know. Uh, hell, yeah, that's it. Hellfire. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, well, yeah. P pink, pink end cap. Yeah, that's probably what it is then, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, hellfire. Stop playing Helldivers in time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you and the wife are getting N R N R F T W. Hey, hang on, what? What's that? What's that acronym? N R F T W. What's that, mate? Uh, did you see the puppies in Discord? Uh, I, I saw. So was it like some little Labradors? Yeah, you can't have one. <laughs> <laughs> You'd take all of them, Starkey. Uh, good call. Uh, I was waiting for them to announce when they would publish the installer on the disc. Yeah, so, so if, if you are interested in once human, make sure you're all signed up. Uh, you know, expressions of interest, whatever you've been asked to do. Check your emails, check your junk email. That's that's all we've been asked to sort of like say, really. But uh, I, I'm sure this time around, just like everyone's going to get it let, let in. But you know, I'll at some this. point. It might be of use. They probably will close the doors on things if uh, there's a huge amount of interest, which, which you, you know there's going to be this time around, right? I think uh, they've set up um, like a content creator program as well, if anyone's interested in that or, you know, got friends that are, you know, YouTube and Twitch and stuff. All, all, all fa fairly standard fare, but... A profitable endeavour. Well, why, the one thing I don't like about Dragon's Dogma, right, is that you feel like you're not really playing a class. You're playing a set of moves. I see no reason, of all the classes, why the warrior shouldn't have, like, a, a like maybe not a roll, but, like, a sidestep, a side dash. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I feel really, really, like... I don't know. It's so hard playing such, such a... I don't know. It's, it's weird, man. Oh, sorry, I'm just uh, checking something. Um, we are strongly considering it. <laughs> uh, how many guinea pigs you got? Is it guinea pigs? How many guinea pigs? We were talking about this a week or so ago, I don't think you were here. Uh, apparently Sal Butamon, the old blue one, has been discontinued now. It's like, is it the same thing, Starkey? I mean, she'll know all about it. Obviously, she, she, she literally deals with respiratory elements and things, but, um... I, I mean, I, I don't pay any attention. She, she just tells me which one to wander out of the drawer, Why don't we have a rest before pressing on? Uh, they mentioned there were 150,000 downloads available this time. Last time they had about 30,000. Yeah, yeah, right, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, and the mo that was it. Yeah, the mobile access. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call, actually. I forgot about that. Uh, my missus brung the tickly cough from work, gave it to me, and now I'm coughing up green stuff. 
I, w I wonder if it is a new bug. I, w I wonder if the tickly cough is, uh, is, is just another one, and that now we've got this nasty mucusy one. It is. It's nasty, man. You sound bloody awful, dude. And I know uh, Ranch was in a uh, hospital recently. Uh, and now I can't remember if it was bronchitis or pneumonia. He, he did mention it. I, I know he was very poor, you know. Yeah, is, is, it just, is it just like a different brand name or something? Possibly a star. I don't know, like I say, she, she, she literally... A common reward. She, she's the one that Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. No, but I, I do notice we've got a little... We've got a little cave over here, haven't we? Which would have been ever so easy to miss. Possibly? I don't know. Maybe not. Let's go have a look. Got ten guinea pigs. It is always daunting to venture into the unknown. Keep stout of heart and clear of mind. How are they all, Edvina? Wow, well, that actually looks pretty cool. This this is where my main interest in Dragon's Dogma actually lies. Is like the uh, the spelunking. There wasn't a huge amount of it in Dragon's Dogma. Trade, allow me to open your chest. Let me just let me just check something. Cause the dogs barking, guys. So it, it sometimes means there's someone on the drive. Keep your ears pricked. Our foes might betray themselves with the slightest sound. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. You saw what you said, very squeaky. <laughs> Let's go and have a look in there. Uh, oh gosh, be back. Uh, they put me on asthma and anti-inflammatory with the, ho the hooping cough. Uh, Montelukas and it's worked wonders. How are you then, Starkey? You, you on the road to recovery then, mate? Yeah. Did they, they say that hooping cough could take like a long time? Were they not sort of suggesting that could... Uh, that could be quite a lengthy uh, ailment. This looks really nice in here, this. Just a shame about the clipping of my uh, thing through the shield. We walk in. Oh, oh I wonder if the. Oh, no. I was now say, seems no. a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. Not getting on that side. Huh? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh Let's god! Look at, look at all those elemental boom. I, I can so use all those. Uh, find out if I if I win a thing, you know, I could pop some bloody jars, couldn't I? And do a ton of damage to them, no doubt. Bring them down. Bring them down if you can. Definitely gone worse. I went up there. I saw like all the exploding barrels. I was like, no. He looked badass, didn't he? Hey, you know what? So th this is this is maybe not a criticism of Dragon's Dogma, but more like a, a way to express what I like in video games. You know, Dragon's Dogma is Dragon's Dogma. It's got its identity, right? I would love to play this game if the combat was slowed down a notch. I still feel like this is way too arcadey for for me. You know, I'm not. This isn't about saying I wish Dragon's Dogma was necessarily different. You know, the, the, this is the product, right? This is what they go for. But I would love to play a game like this, 
Um, so, so imagine like Dragon Age Origins real time with pause, but having like this fidelity and this control, but being able to just go click. Okay, hang on a sec. Let's just issue a couple of instructions. Uh, I, I would, I would, I don't kickstart or get involved in early access on anything these days, but that, that would get me in there, man. I, I would definitely consider it. You're at the end of season three. Yeah, so I'm, God, how'd you get time to watch like that, dude? Uh, yeah, we're, so we're in season two, and I don't know how deep into... Oh, Jon Snow's just been captured. So the wildlings have got Jon Snow, man. Yeah, he, he's just... Um, he's had his like, little little odd on evening with, with, with the wildling girl, and then she's obviously managed to uh, trick him and what have you. Um... Capcom has an update coming which will allow turning off uh, both motion blur and ray tracing on Series X. Lovely, although they've said frame rate stuff. It don't matter about that. The the Xbox Series X is absolutely unplayable. It, it, it's it's ugly as sin. I mean, the PlayStation 5 has a lower frame rate, but the Series X visual fidelity in this game is absolutely trash to. I just don't understand how on three different platforms they've got such massive disparity with everything. The Series X is awful, dude. I think it would look better on the Switch. Uh, to all Dragon's Dogma 2 fans, we're planning to release patches including the following updates and fixes in the future. We'll release them as soon as they can. Yeah. But motion blur ain't going to fix it, dude. Uh, simple, I have no life. <laughs> I kind of wish I did at times, but... <laughs> so many things to do, dude. <laughs> Oh god, man! What are we gonna do, boys? I feel like I feel like just the last week and even the weekend. I, I just feel like I'm living with my head in the sand at the minute, mate. I'm gonna have to face reality soon, I think. Things are not going well, mate. What a shit year, dude! What a shit year! Is that like all? Oh. Looks like it, doesn't it? But I don't think it's necessarily. Uh... We've got a lot of just sitting there staring at a box. I do like I do like the interiors, though. You know, I, I think. Uh... These dungeon little lots of little dungeon oh. areas are definitely. Uh... What does this say? Let's have a look then. Oh wow! Oh, Zed fell off. Or, or is it supposed to look like that? How oh, are you getting on with it this time? But I, I'm a It's yourself. like watching it the first time for me, dude. I really mean that. I, uh, I'm picking up on so much more this time around. It is just a really good show. I just hope it stays like that, you know? Because uh, it, it's nice to watch something like that with a girlfriend. It's, it's not often we, we both sort of... Um, well, we, we just don't. We just don't watch that sort of stuff together normally, so. Is there nice any way to climb up there? Outside. Her I'm comfort zone. Sure because we'll she's got me into a few things over the years. We've got goblins! Oh, shit. Probably shouldn't have done that, should I? Riftstone of the Kind Hearted. Don't really care. Did, ti did, did time just pass? Or is that just I think we carry on I think we just crack on a little bit uh got Bobo's down here look Yeah, I, I, you know, you know what I feel like. One but, never can have uh, too this many. This is probably the best, the closest I can Let get to explaining this. Let's take care when and how we put them to use. Uh, and it's not the greatest sort of uh, example to give, really, but because I have watched it, so I have a sort of basic understanding. Bollocks. Plus, my God-given talent of being able to like essentially live in the moment and forget things that I actually do know. You know? I grant your weapon a magical boom. But yeah, it's, it's almost like I've watched... Well, 
it's, it's almost like watching a battle say, like, is a battle won, I suppose. Summary. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. Right, and I'm are. watching it for the first time. Because the amount of, like, eyes to scream that I must have had must have been way less than even I, I realised. So I, I'm not remembering the scenes at all. But it is an example, the Red Wedding. Everyone talks about the Red Wedding, and I know something really terrible happens at the Red Wedding, but I don't know who the wedding is of. And I'm not going to answer it because that answer is not a question. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. Yeah, I, I just know there's some epic moment. I know there's something going on with that wildfire. What, what did you call it again? Sorry. Uh, witch fire, whatever it was. I, I know something happens with that. I know, I know, I know something's coming up with uh, Jamie Lannister as well. I can't, I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, he's kind of now been snatched up by... Uh, Brienne, is it? Bri Brienne of... Whatever, wherever she's from. It's Brianna pleasantly Tar cool here. What with a canopy overhead? We so so they're kind of travelling together. Monsters lurk nearby. I sense them. Right, you are. In fact, they've just gone into the canoe. Oh no, this could be bad. These are humans. That was weird. I, I thought we did well in Certainly the first arisen. part of the fight, and then that. You can that only arch, my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. A new game start with save data exists. Art of uh, hang on, what's this? New game start when save data exists. Art of metamorphosis at pawn shops up to ninety nine. What does that mean? Quest for plans to get their dwelling earlier. Oh, these, these are a bit spoilery. There's dwellings. Uh, Steam says about DLSS stuff. Uh, what? Have they just made an announcement? I might back out and have a look then. They need to fix the image quality on the X though. Because like the X has got generally a better frame rate than the PlayStation 5. Um, you know, overall. You know, in most scenarios. But, but the thing is, we're talking like a few frames. Because it's already a shit frame rate on both, right? But that Series X looks terrible. And the Series S. Oh, my God, dude. Jesus Christ. I swear to God, right, it was better on the Xbox 360. And I don't mean, like, graphics. I mean, like... For the, for the technology you had, the games that were on the Xbox 360, yeah, in some cases, you were really impressed, weren't you? It was like, you know, for its age, it had amazing-looking games, yeah? That Series S, I, I understand its importance, and, and I know if you're on a budget, at least it enables you to play video games, but my God, dude. You, you know, you should like have 50% off the asking price of a video game, because it, it, it's terrible, dude. Let me get that. Microsoft really needs to think about where this is all going, man. They really do. And let's be honest, we know that they're not going to. But this, I mean, even like Games Nexus, right? Talking about this guy. 
I mean, the, the dude had to buy, like, what was it, like, five copies of the game? Or four copies of the game? <laughs> You're like to grow overburdened <laughs> just, if you Just because, obviously, he's installing it on so many different find. CPUs, which therefore count it as a you know, fresh install on a fresh computer. Next time, Magic grant you an elemental boom. But there is something just so wrong with gaming. You know? It's so frustrating. It's something that was just like something to just sit there and laugh and enjoy. As turning to this, and it's such a behemoth industry now, right? And it's soured at every corner these days. I'll turn you into a pincushion. It's no wonder we're all looking for. I, I, you know, we, we keep seeing it, don't we? So we're all looking for the next big thing. You know, I, I think we just look for something like worms. I think that's what we really want. Like. I remember the good old days, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. You went out, you bought a game, you put it in, and you had a laugh with your mates, right? Can't even do that in 2023. I don't, I really don't, I really dislike these ghost ones. There's definitely a sweet spot. I remember it's the archer. Like, even if I kept shooting, the, uh, the ball area, there were times when it, it, it's like it wasn't corporal and, and I couldn't really do anything against it. I think it's the same with my warrior on the charge attack, which tends to auto focus. Well, it's like I said earlier, Mary, you know. On, on a positive note, I mean, Capcom have really suffered with this. You just think about it from Capcom's perspective, right? Monster Hunter. Everyone went back to Monster Hunter I don't know recently. about you, Master, you know, they but dropped the price um, on have the announcement of... Uh, what is it? What's the new one? Rise? Uh, it's Rise the one that's already out. Monster Hunter... What, what's the one that's coming out next year, dude? Uh, Wilds, right? Wilds is the one next year. And Rise was the Switch one, wasn't it? So, you're looking from Cap Cap Capcom are like... Everyone's, everyone's talking about Capcom. Amazing game. Plays brilliantly on modern-day hardware. You've got Iceborne. You can get all this stuff for, like, like less than a tenner, right? Everyone's talking about it. And, and then they, 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 they just, like, literally shoot themselves in the throat, foot, foot with this launch. So, maybe on a positive note, Mario... It's, it's going to make them not make the same mistake with Wilds, right? Because they will not be able to launch Wilds with these performance issues. It, it's going to get fucking crucified, mate. And, and, and Monster Hunter is just too big a franchise for them to mess it up. Or at least let's hope so, right? Again, who knows? Who knows who's putting what streams over? This is generally used as a material. I'm I would sure have thought, we'll and there's no way this should have launched on PC in the, in the state it's in, dude. Like, it really should not have done. It is very unforgivable. Uh, leave the left. <laughs> the ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. The red wedding. Yeah, well, I, I, know, I know it's like a slaughter. I, I, know, I know, like, there's terrible things happen at the red wedding, but it's like I don't even know who gets married. <laughs> I own an S and I can say the S needs to burn in hell. I, I, I just think it's. It, it's it's just, if Microsoft just, remo all I'm asking is, Microsoft, please remove the parity clause in it. You know, you've already made exceptions for Larian. Just get rid of that. L make it so that developers don't have to produce a product on the Series S. B because it's really messing things up, man. You know, th these developers are really having some work. Uh, uh, I mean, th the production time alone to get a ga game running on the S must be astronomical. The concessions having to be made. Now, this is not about graphics. This is the problem. The people who just don't understand any of this they just think they just dial the, gra the graphical settings down. It's not that simple. There is so much more to a modern-day video game. Uh, and, you know, the hardware, and, and, you know, essentially the bandwidth you've indeed. got to work with and the memory you've got have to work to be with all the more wary, that are not just about graphics. Cast the shadows away. And, and that S, it, it, it's, I mean, there are so many devs are talking about it now, aren't they? Like, they just wish the thing would fucking disappear. Or just allow us to launch on the X. And not have to make a version for the S, you know? Phantoms. Yeah. 
very interesting to see what happens with uh, Grand Theft Auto, won't it? Grand Theft Auto 6. I'm never sure when to actually attack this thing. Oh shit! Oh no! No! Uh, shall I do yes or no? If I do no, I think I, I think I'm gonna have to use a wake stone, guys. I think it would be safer, right? I think if I do no and I go to the last save, it's fucking miles back, dude. Like miles back. It, even before I uh I, I I'm gonna assume the auto save will be from when we camped. Oh fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use it. It better not put That didn't just wake well, me to warrant the use of your lens. Alright, I'm gonna quit this game. Thank God for that. I actually thought it just respawned me back in the water. I was I was just gonna turn it off and say that's it. I've had enough. <laughs> Let's throw it a save. I need I need to start saving more, don't I? Uh system save. I I honestly thought I just respawned back in the water then. Seriously. I was like, no, that, that that's unforgivable. And then I was thinking like, okay, I have a really good rant about this. And, and uh, wake stones. <laughs> uh, uh, what was that? Oh, you, you made an S and you said the S needs the burning hand. I mean, look, the S is like really cool, right? The, the S is great, yeah? Uh, in the sense, you know, if you, if you need to game on a budget, uh, not everyone's got the money to buy a Series X. I do get that. But, you know, we are definitely getting worse games because of it. You know, there's no doubt about that. It's having an impact on things. It's it's just a shame, man. Uh, that would be uh, you know, yeah yeah yeah. I haven't saved for ages. Yeah, there's no point doing it from the last save, Lucy, because because it was it was like probably an hour ago, to be honest. With you. Uh, the game nation landed. No, no, it didn't. I thought it did, dude. I honestly thought I'd respawn in the water. I was like, no, dude, that that is gonna cost me dearly, bro. We're gonna have to have a little rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> Every, with everything One else that the game's got going on, I honestly, genuinely, I mean, it goes to show a little enough. faith in products I've got right now. Is that I actually did think that that had happened, to be honest, man. I'm just going to go back here and go back to that tent area up top. Uh, you're right, automated. How are you, man? Are you all right, Alethian? How's things, uh, how's things your end, dude? Did you have a nice weekend, bro? It's about to say, it all makes sense now with microtransactions, doesn't it? Buy some extra wake stones. Uh, there's definitely something around here because it, it's got like the little the little what's it icon, look. The little crystal icon. But I can't figure out what and where it is. My neck's really hurting. I'm having to sit in a weird angle today, so it's like my head's like always. Oh, well Jesus! Oh, that I sounded can see bad. No weaknesses that might be exploited. All the gristle noise. No oh, challenge fuck is me. beyond our combined might. Oh, I just turned my, turned my neck as I'm saying, like I'm having to sit like with my neck sort of like off, completely off center. Like I just turned it as I'm saying it, and I heard the gristle in the vertebrae. Uh, right. Don't know then. It's definitely saying there's like something here to collect, isn't there? Do you think it could just be like? Could it just be like in here or something? You see, you see on the mini map, I've got like the little the little crystal icon, which would suggest it's directly here, wouldn't it? But there's nothing there. I mean, I'm literally on top of it. Could, could be that, maybe? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. Thought so. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. No, it's still saying there's something directly in front of me here. Oh. Could be the apples there. Yep, that, that was it. Definitely worth having a little mooch around, you know? Uh, let's have a look, see if we've got any... So none of my all oh my apples seem to go from apple to rotten. Uh, I'm not catching that intermediary one, am I? 
which is what I need to make these beautiful fruit robberants. And someone was kind enough to suggest that these weigh a lot less. These are 0 0.05 kilos. So they're half the weight of the salubrious drafts. So they are definitely superior. Let's have a look at the map then. Um, so we want to be heading down here, I'm guessing, because this very much looks like the city, doesn't it? Right down on the coastline. So we want to be heading sort of south. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still loads of places to explore, though, right? <laughs> you thought it happened? I, I honestly didn't either. I was gonna. I, mean, I wouldn't have actually rage quit, but I, I think I've had a, I'd have had a bit of a rant, bro. <laughs> I can feel it brewing, dude. It's like, what the fuck, really, dude? You just like just use the wake stone, which is actually something you can buy on the MTX store, and I've just like literally wasted like one pound ninety nine if I bought one. Uh, some really good bits to look forward to. It still gives you chills. It is, it's just beautiful, but I think it's one of the reasons the girlfriend's really enjoying it as well. It, it, you know, like, in her mind, things like zombie, zombie films are just, like, janky-ass, embarrassing, corny shit, yeah? Look at that. Let's try a shield bash on him and see what happens. That's tight. Oh, nice, Grum. Nice. Nice indeed, dude. Nice. I'll turn you into a pincushion. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, nice throw, man. Nice beat. Oh, beautiful, bro. Really nice. The combat, like I said, the combat is excellent. I just wish it was slowed down a smidge. Yeah, you know, for me personally. To think I'd, I'd be like to feel like I was playing more strategically. I am You're well fond of picking things rather up, aren't than, you? You know, really having to race around. You know what I mean? It'd be kind of nice if we could. Oh, it's complete flute, Mario. Honestly, it takes so long to raise the shield, dude. It really does for that for those like parries. Dead wood. Oh, Doing all right with the, uh, the the impale skills. Really good, man. If I can not if I can knock them down with shield bash and then get an impale on them, pretty much out. Uh, yeah. Uh, Red Eskimo. Oh, thank you for the 20 Red Eskimo. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate the sub. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you are considering subbing, one, thank you for even considering it, and two, if you would at least also consider joining us on Patreon instead of on Twitch. Uh, I, I, should I say that? Maybe I shouldn't say. Maybe I get in trouble for that, but... If you, if you are considering supporting us, please do put some thought into Patreon. It would be uh, a, a far significant <laughs> improved way to keep the channel going. Because uh, at the moment, things, things aren't looking too good, boys. Thank you very much, Red Eskimo. Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers, Casper. Uh, you put another 12 hours in today. More skills and passives I unlock feels really good. The thing is, you're not unlocking any more skills, though, really, are you? We, we found out earlier today that you only actually have four main skills, don't you? On, 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 on that thing. So, so that, that's what I'm actually really gutted about, Alethea. Uh, be, before, I felt like I had, like, eight activatable skills. Uh, my other four in this are kind of already predetermined. In a way, you know? So I've got my four here, yeah? I've got my Shield Bash, my Blink Strike, and then my B and my A, which are like my LB skills. And then, and then I've got like my passive. So like obviously for the fight, I've got like Impale and, and my Onslaught, which is, you know, they're, they're good skills, man. But uh, I, I thought we were going to get... I, I thought I'd also get my RB. So this would be where I, like my Shield Bash and things would be. And, and, and my Bang the Shield skills would be. 
So I thought we were going to get like almost like 12 skills this time around. An LB, an RB, and your kind of intermediary ones. And actually, it's not at all. So, if anything, it's a step back over Dragon's Dogma 1. It's, uh, it's not ideal. But it is. No, no, it's not a off. The, 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 the perfect parry is not, not easy. I'll gather game, this. Sorry, it might be of use. It, it's, it's not easy to time in the heat of battle with everything else going on, dude. The, the, the parry window is a weird one. It's, it's, it's not like other games where a click is like... It, it's, it's just... The, the game just... It's sluggish. The, the game is just not great. Oh my god, oh shit, that did no damage, boys. Oh shit, oh no. This could be bad. We need to knock the tail off, don't we? But You're, you're so animation locked in this. If, if all you're doing is waiting for a parry, yeah. But that that ain't how video games should be. If I start swinging this, I'm boom. never going to get that parry. The, the, the animation looks insane. Oh, he's just got in the water. And hang on, is, is he immune to the water or not? Because we threw one in and he definitely got it. So, oh my god. Oh yeah, we got a tail off. We got a tail off, boys. We got a tail off. Yeah, if, if you could, like, animation break out of things to, to get the parry in, well, like any other game, you'd be all right. But you can't in this. You, you, you're, well, once you pr press the button, you're in it, aren't you? Um, uh, true, there are only, like, four which is lame. There's also an upgrade to many of them, and that, that combined with venturing out and further encountering new creatures. That's also been great. Yeah, I, I'm just surprised that, that they've, like, really... I mean, to be honest, Dragon's Dogma is a better game in some ways. No doubt about it. Uh, I, I, you know, a bit early for me to talk about skills. I would say the amount of skills that we have that are, you know, caterable um, to, to our builds. You know, like, like I said, I, I can have four skills for my bow and I can have four skills for my daggers, couldn't I? Um, I'm not going to get that this time around, so that's definitely a step back. Um, also, for example, the pawn rating system. It, they, they just they just remove it. it it's it, now, now it doesn't mean anything now now it's just an annoying click of buttons because it means nothing there's no rating there just get rid of it so, so they've definitely taken a step back in some regards um i thought the inventory system was vastly improved and actually it's turned out it isn't at all no harm in picking a few it, it's only slightly improved oh, in stash well storage Indeed. not in character Good on you for character being so storage damaged. So they haven't even bothered to upgrade that, to be honest, man. Um, you know, it, it's it's a shame. But, yeah, I'm sure the world and the monsters and things are going to be the showcase. But sometimes it's, you know, the devil's in the details, isn't it? You know, you, you, you learn it's some mistakes from your first game. Master. And, you, you know, you, you take the off the rough edges and again improve quality of life. And I don't feel like they've really listened to anyone from the first game, to be honest. It still has a lot of issues. But uh, oh, we'll, we'll see more. It's like you say, Alethian. Hopefully we'll get to see some cool stuff, right? I just had my first fight with the with the Cyclops. That actually went really nicely. It felt a lot better than in the first one. Um, it was just a shame that he was up against the wall so much of the fight. So I don't really feel like I got a chance to play about with some of the systems a little bit. Reckon we can get over... Get over... Oh, dude. Really? <laughs> oh, dude, there's a Cyclops over there as well. Shit. Do you reckon I can make that or not? <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do, though, dude. Uh, that looks like a better way out. Oh, no, that isn't a better way out, is it? I think what we'll do. Let, let's let's get kind of a little uh, let's get kind of a little mooch over there anyway. See if I can drop. What we'll do, we'll drop a save in and then see if we can jump to that chest, and then we'll come back to this one. 
Uh, they look so much better than in DD1. Uh, I, I, oh, the, I mean, I've got to admit, you know, the creatures, you know, the Saurians as an example, in Dragon's Dogma 1 shades. They were surprisingly detailed, mate. You know, considering how old that game is. And the same with the goblins. Um, everything about, like, the animations, you know, the creatures themselves. Dragon's Dogma was a fucking good game in that regard. Um, th this is taking it to a whole new level, though. I mean, the, the actual creature design is brilliant. Can I not loot the, uh, the eggs and things? I don't, I don't think you can loot eggs, can you? You can probably like, destroy them. Yeah. Rating now shows how many times form is it? The rating system shits, mate. I, I don't, I don't, it's just fucking shit. Before we could rate on appearance, uh, combat effectiveness, ge general just like, you know, uh, sort of knowledge of the game. Um, it, was, it, was, it felt meaningful. It felt like every time I did that, I was like, let's just have a little recap. You know, here's this honor, okay, on. Oh, yeah, honor did really well in that fight, and it was brilliant. Now it's just a fucking clicky, clicky sack of shit. Fucking lame as lame can be, man. Fucking useless. And another fucking publisher bowing their head to mediocrity. Such a shame, dude. So it's going to kill the industry, man. It's going to absolutely kill the fucking industry. We'll be left with nothing but, you know, little indie devs, I think, if, if they're not careful. Uh, system, save and continue. Let's get a save there, and then we'll try and get back around. <coughs> and then we'll, yeah, let's just see if I can get back around there. I hope, uh, the other thing that I don't think they've uh, worked on at all either is the idea of um, loot. It, it, it is a real letdown. You know, I understand in the PlayStation 3 era, just, just having some like treasure boxes just out in the middle of nowhere. I get it, you know, they were very limited. But you know, if you go, I mean, look at The Witcher 3, dude. You know, The Witcher 3 is an old ass game, yeah? But if there was a bit of loot somewhere, it felt like it, it wasn't just a box. You know, there was an overturned carriage in the swamp and there were some dead bodies and, you know, you could loot the, the chests on it, right? I don't think I'm going to get over there, am I? Without going all the way around. Um, you know, it was believable, wasn't it? it, it it's, it's like story... This is what I was saying about storytelling in, in, in Skyrim. Um... You don't have to have the narrative. You don't have to have NPC interaction to have a good story. Um, you know, what, what What did happen to this corpse and, and the magical ring on, on the skeleton? And, and, and they haven't done anything. It, it's just boxes in the middle of, like... You climb up a little ravine or whatever it is, valley area, or drop down into a valley, climb up a cliff area, and there's just this random treasure chest, you know? At least make it like a little camp with a skeleton crunched up there, you know, huddled, you know, and trying to defend themselves from the cold with a bit of loot on the body. It, it, it's, it, it's they haven't done a lot with it, man. Basically, Dragon's Dogma Two is more Dragon's Dogma One in it. End of story. And if you like Dragon's Dogma One, you're gonna have fun with this. Yeah. Uh, what's the jump button? All right, I like it. Check this out, mate. Oh, hang on. Why is he not? Oh, is that? Oh, is that? Is that as fast as she goes? I don't feel like she's going very fast, dudes. Oh my god, that was close. We've got goblins. I grant your weapon a magical boost. I shall heal you at once. Wait a moment. I really like it when I can take my time on that. So you don't just feel like you're just running in and spamming a load of buttons. You know, like you feel like you're sort of orchestrating the fight a little bit. Uh, forfeit the main pawn. Uh, if your main pawn becomes forfeit... Oh, my God. She's not falling in the water, has she? You need only touch a wrist stone to turn them... You've got to be kidding me. You cannot enter confidence with other pawns while your main pawn is forfeit. I didn't know that. Did she, did, is is Alani falling in the water? She did, didn't she? She didn't make the jump, did she? Oh, for fuck's sake. And that's my main healer. 
Oh, God, this fucking game, dude. Like, seriously, what the fuck, bro? You're like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. It's not trinkets, mate. It was a rotten apple. It's very important, all right? <laughs> you leave my bag of rotten apples alone, you fucking Debbie Downer, all right? <laughs> Wonder how close we are to the city. We can't be that far. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we're fucking miles away. Shit, in fact, I didn't even want to come across on that bridge, did I? Does it not show the campfires on the map? Oh, oh, it does, it does, it does. You've got to zoom in a bit. Um, I can either risk jumping back and going back up there or push a little bit further on. I think we jump back because, in my opinion... This, this is nice. This is cool. I do like the... Uh, I do like this waypoint system. I should probably use that a lot more, actually. I, I reckon we try and get back. Well, I wouldn't, it's not that they're outdated. I mean, to be fair, Tony, what, what I'm saying is, is that I understand why Dragon's Dogma 1 felt dated. Because it's an old game. So, therefore, it's going to, by the very nature of its age, feel a little bit old school, isn't it? But you see what I mean? Instead of having a box like that there, you know? Why not add some, some flavour to the world, you know? Like, like many other games, like Skyrim did 10 plus years ago. Like The Witcher did. 10 odd years ago. You know, why has it just got to be a box in the middle of nowhere? You know, like I said, the overturned carriage, that the body slumped, as, you know, where someone tripped and fell off a gorge, perhaps. And there's a million and one ways to add, like, detail to a game. And it's just, it's just, it's just a graphical backdrop, right? It, it, it's, it's like fucking zero effort outside of putting a little you, bit of Master, effort in creatively. I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Shit, did I save? I did, didn't I, right? <sighs> Jesus. So why did Alania not make it? Did she, is she just like, is she just got not very nimble? <laughs> or, or is it just one of those unlucky things, you know? What, you mean the massive bags? That, oh, yeah, yeah. So you, you get this giant treasure chest, right? That's got these, like, huge leather bags in there. And, and the loot is a fucking moldy apple. Yeah, it's fucking brilliant, that is. Maybe she was too... Oh, she could have been, couldn't she? I never thought of that, Shane. Yeah, could have been. You might be right. She might have been... Oh, actually, no, I... Oh, shit, that's a good question. What happened to all the loot she had on her? Did it auto-transfer? Gotta hope so, right? Thing is, does this work? Is she gonna be in here? Oh, there she is. She, she just comes up. I shall strive to be more diligent in future. Yeah, you suck, Alania. I'm glad to have you back by our side. Yeah, you you proper boffed it, darling. You better make the jump this time, all right? <laughs> Second. Oh, what was that? What was that noise then? Sounded like Excellent. a gun. Just what I was hoping for. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Uh, all Wait right. a moment. All right, all right, all right. How? You called? Forgive me, but you do not appear to be in need of I'm kind of glad. Strange thing to be saying in someone's chat, innit? Yeah, it did, it did in the first one, didn't it, Smet? I'd, I'd rather not risk it, to be fair. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't take a backup of my save, guys. So if anything goes wrong today, like corrupted saves like people are reporting. I'll collect that. We will need be to shit out a lot. I, I need to get in the habit of doing that every single day, man. Like, and, and then at worst, I'm only going to lose like that, that, that playthrough, aren't I? Oh, all that, that sessions playthrough, should I say? Um, sorry, guys. Sorry, I've got a text message coming through. Um, what are we doing, guys? What are we doing? Um, system. Save and continue. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of... Uh, you can erase all markers, can't you? So we really want to be coming down here, don't we? Yeah, I mean... I sort of like pop another marker. I really like this marker system. This is, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I like to see. 
proper bridges are best avoided. Nice system. So long as nice and clean. The side, we'll be all intuitive. Right. Gives you a good visual. I understand. Reference point, you know, while you're travelling around. I don't think we actually have to activate these, do we? I think, you know, they're just there, right? Unless I actually want to camp. I, guess I can't rate her because she's my own pawn, though, Tony. I, li I really like the rating system. I thought it was very... I, I thought it was instrumental because it did it really made me when i got when i dismissed the pawn it, it what it did be, because you were being asked to actually legitimately give some feedback you know and it might might not have mattered to a lot of folks but to me it did you know what did i think of your appearance what did i think of your battle prowess what what, what you know how do i feel you helped me and it did it really made me remember those pawns uh, otherwise, they just dispose. Let's be honest, right? You don't know what they're doing after time. You've got no control over what Rook's doing or Honor's doing. Uh, you know, the inclination system is about as much use as a fucking chocolate teapot, right? It's very, very basic. You know, compared to something like Dragon Age Origins, it might as well not fucking exist. So uh, at least it, it, it gave me that kind of like I'm saying farewell to, to a friend. You know, what? What? How do, do I think you performed and stuff? And it was good. I enjoyed it. Well, we even had a little bit of a giggle on the stream, you know, with people rating Griselda and giving her, like, obviously five out of five everything because she was amazing. But, you know, th this new system is just... It, it just why is it even there? It, it, you just get rid of it. it it's just literally pointless. Uh, I think I'm going to go and take those gobbos out. Um... Oh, sorry, what's that about? Uh, from your experience, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I saw the camping kits reappearing. I grant no, you camping kits blade. get used, don't well. we think. So, camping kits, we, we had a chat about this yesterday, and, and I think the general consensus was a camping kit always disappears after you've used it. Right? It's a one time use. I shan't let them harm you. But you do need to be careful because you could use it and potentially not get the benefits from it if if you get attacked while you're resting, right? I mean, we could check. Uh, hang on, let me just have a quick look. Items. Uh, who had the camping kit? Uh, I'd have to go through... Is it classed as a curative or what? What would it, what would a camping kit be classed as? I suppose if I do this, we'll be, I mean, if we can't find a camping kit in here, we know they're getting used. Not in there. Not in there. Yeah. So my camping kit's definitely gone, hasn't it? Uh. Yeah, yeah, it's not there, is it? So if I go up one, down one, no camping kit, no camping kit. Alania, no camping kit. Rooks, no camping kit, and Honours, no camping kit. So yeah, they, they do. Yeah, camping kits do get used. They're consumable. Oh, unless... Unless... Why has Alania got all that stuff? Because she hasn't just picked all that up, has she? So, if Alania died... You would have thought all of that stuff would have... In, in Dragon's Dogma 1, all that stuff would have been transferred, wouldn't it? But the camping kit's still not there. Because there's no way she's got all that since we've just booted, booted her back up, is there? If that makes sense. Uh, oh, what was that about? What, what did you notice? Sorry, uh, I just noticed that there are outlines of raids on the darkness on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been using that since day one. Yeah, okay, yeah look. that's how I know the city's down here. Look, the sort of city's like a really complex network of roads. That, that, oh, that's why I've been putting markers. Like we were doing it all day yesterday. Uh, camping kids don't get used. Not in your game. 
The sun I'm has my modest camping kit twice today. It's still we can rest here now or press on a while longer. But I didn't get attacked. So where's my camping kit then? So what's going on then, boys? I, I, I slept and I definitely didn't get attacked, did I? 100%. Yeah. Mate. I, I know I know in my store I've got like what two That was superb Arisen. <laughs> the little the little side five, that's kinda cool man. I don't know then guys, I I, I can say what's happening in my game. Don't know. There are useful ingredients to be gathered. And, here, unless that maybe it's different with your main Shall we see porn if there's all to be found while we're here? You know what I mean? Like maybe the pawn, main pawn. Things don't get put away. I don't know, dude. I've got, I've, I, again, I don't know. I haven't got enough data to go on, really. But I, I do find it very unlikely that since she's been back in my team, she's she's gathered all that. There's just no way, is there? That's a lot of stuff for her to have collected. Yeah, it's, there's no way, man. Definitely. Uh, you didn't get attacked, and yesterday I used my camera kit and it didn't get attacked and it disappeared. Can't tell if it's a bug. So, oh, so, so this is why there was some confusion in chat yesterday, then. Because it, it actually is. We're seeing different different outcomes for different people, are we? I don't know. And, and we won't, what we'll do is we'll make a note of what we've got in the store, because I'm sure... I, I, I definitely had one, because I think we get it as part of the extra Super Duper Edition, don't you? Um, we'll, we'll just have to keep an eye on it and, and see if we, we, we... Look, we know we didn't get attacked, though. 100%. Thing is, they, I'm going to assume they're quite expensive, are they? Well, it's not about the expense. It's the weight, isn't it? They're, like, really heavy, man. Like, um, I think the, I think the MTX ones are, are, are they actually way less, don't they? Which I've got to admit is a bit fucking cheesy, to say the least. But I think I think the heavy ones are like seven kilos, and then is the MTX one like a kilo or something less? I think someone said. And that's kind of a bit naughty to say the least. But I mean, there are different variants, aren't there? I wouldn't. I wonder if it's because people have bought the Super Duper Edition, and maybe that is a different type of campfire or, or camping kit. Maybe that one is reusable, perhaps. Yeah, I, I don't know, Shane. So, I mean, the, tr the trouble is... Different combinations of materials result in different creations. There are different camping kits, aren't there? I think camping kits have, like, a durability. It loses all durability if you're attacked. Oh, right. Well, I've... Uh, well, that can't be right, because I've never camped before. I, I've never camped. I've only, I've only camped once, and my camp... I don't have my camping kit anymore. So, so that, that's that myth busted as well, then, isn't it? Oh no, they're, they're, they're only seven. No, they're, they're, I think there's seven kilos. I, I enjoy think there's seven kilos, and the lowest ones are five and, and a half kilos. I think. Thrills to Not thirty items. kilos. Fucking hell. Dude. I am confident. Nowhere near that. Uh, the in-game waffle does mention something about different qualities being like, yeah, that, yeah, they are. Yeah, I didn't know about durability, but like I said, I've, maybe, I, maybe like, maybe you've nailed it then, Doctor Gnosis. Maybe I had like, let's say, the light camping kit. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons, and it has one use. So we'll have a look. If we get to a store, indeed, we'll have a look. Those see if we can figure it out. Known among the common folk. So, so maybe it is. And uh, maybe that again, that, that's murking the water. So it some people they're not using side. it up because they've got like say a heavy really? camping kit which has got like now? three uses. You know, obviously arbitrary numbers perhaps, but a treasure chest. But there are some doors that can be interacted with but cannot be opened by keys or mechanisms. Uh, this can merely be a matter of timing and you may find such doors will open at a particular time of day or once you have progressed to a certain point in the story. Take note of any intriguing doors you encounter and try revisiting them again at a later time. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Uh, well, we could, but let, let me just grab some gear, because we're about to go into the uh, the dreaded first city, aren't we? 
How you doing, Mr. Bad Habits? Uh, did you know you can cook food at your campsite? Uh, yeah, it did tell me, and I should have done it, shouldn't I? Yeah, it, it did mention cooking your food. In fact, I think we even mentioned it earlier on the stream today. Uh, and no, I, I haven't done it, dude. I should have done, shouldn't I? What, what's the purpose in cooking feed? Uh, I mean... Does it... You know, you know, I mean, healing isn't really a thing in this game, is it? To be honest. Um, in, in combat, I, I, I can use potions and eat to my heart's content, right? So... Does it just does it just make a superior quality food, I guess? So if I cook that instead of it giving me like a small amount of health, would it give me like a large amount of health? We'll get we're getting a rhythm with that, Mr. Bad Habits thing. We'll start start doing it if we do camp. Obviously we're uh we're still very early days at the minute. What are you we? doing? We've not been given lead to rest yet. I'm well what? aware of that, thank you. Who's been a lip? Why are they being so fucking lippy? I don't. I don't remember pawns being so argumentative. You know. Got a little uh, little meat chamber there before we head in. Oh wow! Oh, that's all. Oh, what's this down here? Uh. Not mean to do that. I don't like that animation though, but you know where, where it looks like she's about to like literally land like she did yesterday, right on her on, on her bosoms. Oh my god, Rook, I thought you were about to die in the water then, dude. Uh so cooking food gives buffs off so uh, oh so you oh oh so it's not ah so cooking is part of sleeping, is it? So so I can get like a better rest if I if I cook. Oh, I wonder where I would have done that. Just at the campfire then. So it's not like it's not like say I, I, I set up the camp and then I can use the campfire to cook some food, and it goes in my inventory. I do it as part of resting, do I? What's that? That looks really out of place. It looks like a a clay chicken. I can see a rat, dude. Oh. But I think that rat needs to die. I don't know. That, that thing looked big, dude. Um, your character was wearing some nice chainmail armor. Now she has a leather tunic type thing and it has no skirt parts. So she's running around in her top, her panties, thigh high. Oh my god, this sounds amazing. <laughs> Screenshots, bro. Screenshots. You see? We could rate your porn. You see? Now, now all we get is like some crappy little fucking thumbs up thing, dude. Me thinks this can only be destroyed from the other side. I'm not altogether <laughs> happy with this. Thong. <laughs> Love it, dude. I mean, the art, the detail in the armors is glorious. I mean, I've got a bit of credit where credit is due on some of the armor designs and the shields and the swords and things. Even the bows, you know. Wonderful. A lot of this stuff would easily hold up in, like, first person, to be honest. We might as well just grab as much as we can because we're heading into the village, so there's no point in, uh... We're, we're presumably going to find... Well, I hope we do, anyway. We're going to get a storage unit, aren't we? A common reward, frustratingly so. So might as well get it on we the way in and store it. Around every corner. Clipping issues, yeah. It's really bad on my shield and my... Uh, in fact, I actually switched out my Jon Snow... Cape plit, I think someone said it was called yesterday. It was you, wasn't it, automated? Cape plit, is that right? Um, because it, it was, it was really bad, dude. The clipping was, like, horrendous on it. So, such a shame, innit? Oh, that's, that's a nice little find. A bit of lantern oil. I mean, we can make that, but... Not much fun One of the few things I do know how to make. Although I say that out loud, I know it's something to do with the rotten food. Not sure what else I have to it, but it's it's in the it's in the recipe list, isn't it? So. 
Uh, the armor is stunning when you actually are wearing something that aren't panty stockings in the high boots. So is this a, is this a set of armor like you've all all you know gotten? Is it? Uh, I, I feel like I need to test this for science, boys. <laughs> It wasn't you. Oh, I don't know who it was. Someone, yeah, someone said it was because I was saying, "Oh, this is like a really nice uh, bit of IKEA rug from Game of Snow, uh, Game of Thrones." But there was, it was actually an NPC originally that I spotted wearing it. It was like a really nice leather capelet. Uh, and then we found the Jon Snow sort of one later on. Oh my God! Look at this woman. She's literally got a knockers hanging out, mate. What the hell, dude? Is that what you mean? Someone like that? Oh my god, dude, what the hell, bruh? Dude. That's shy. Was it you, Alethian? Is it you? Sorry, mate. Sorry. Alethian, automated, annihilance. It's all these freaking A's. Oh! And then shades. She likes her A's. There's too many A's, man. You are approaching the gates of Vernworth, capital of Vermont. No, oh, it's not for me, the, <laughs> <laughs> the gates of Vernworth, capital of Vermont. Well, that is never getting remembered, so but we'll just forget that. If you've an entry permit. So in here, there is a false arisen then, yeah? Present it now. The, the, uh, uh, Greg, or, or whatever his name is, gave us a, a permit, didn't he? Yeah, so, I mean, the story so far, uh, we, what the fuck happened? We were in Melv, weren't we? Minding our own business and the dragon attacked. And the dragon did its arisen, let's munch on your heart, choky choky nonsense, right? And we got charred. Um... But we, we kind of obviously didn't die. And then someone took us away, didn't they? We don't know who, but so someone picked us up on the pretense of, like, helping us get healed. And, and we were thrown into prison, weren't we? And while we're in prison, we have a flashback to us being on the throne, don't we? Um, and that's when the voice enters our head, suggesting that there is more to us than we realise, and we must, we must escape. So we escape prison... Uh, we, get, we, we run away on a griffin that Buck killed. Um, and, and then we eventually make our way to Melv again, don't we? Uh, and then we, we're kind of... I think Greg or whatever his name is wants to escort us to the city. Because obviously people think we're the Arisen, but there's already a, a false Arisen, we believe, in the city of Vermouth slash Vermond, whatever the hell it is. I think, I think that's the story so far, right, Shanes? Would you say we've got, we're about there? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, God, I don't really like opening Discord. Let, let me have a look. Uh, where, what section's it in Dragon's Dogma? Let's have a look, dude. Oh, my God. That, that is a cracking pair of ass cheeks, dude. So, so why, do you have, why do you have your ass cheeks hanging out? Is that is that is that just the lower body part of a ranger armor set? That's ridiculous. That's just shocking, dude. You have very nice ass cheeks, though. I mean, a bit weird in a way. Almost looks like two watermelons. You, you've even got like a, a, a lower butt wrinkle, dude. I mean, the, the attention to detail is really quite outstanding, really. About right, Smet and Shane, yeah. So, so that's about right, yeah. Not a lot else has happened, really, has it? You know, so some people think we're the Arisen, so some people are not convinced we're the Arisen. Uh, yeah. That's the full Ranger armor. What, for real? What, you're not joking? That is actually a set of armor for the Ranger with your ass cheeks hanging out. That's, that's kind of sad, really, isn't it? Don't you think? A little bit sad. Um, a letter addressed to the captain of Vern Worth Guard. Okay, deliver. Deliver. Oh, I see. So you are to meet with Captain Brant. Brant is a posh one, isn't he? Brant, mate. <laughs> Captain Brant. Shan't impede you then. Come with me. 
What was that about knackers? Uh, dot. What, what, what was that? Uh, okay. I'm still not used to having to press A. I still think that's so fucking lame. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Uh, okay. Nice to meet you, Brant. Captain Brant, you should know that this individual fought valiantly to defend the troops. The watchhead told me himself. Mm -hmm. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. Uh, he sounds a bit like, what's his name, doesn't he? Uh, what is the answer? That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. Uh, he's the dude I'm thinking of. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. What the fuck? What? what I, I, dude, I, dude, come on now, Brinsky. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. Uh, I think I might kick you in the nuts, dude. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. A interrogation? Stand watch outside. Oh, that looks, that actually does look really cool. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, your majesty. Okay. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. All right, so, so he's on our side. Oh, shit. Hang on. One sec, guys. Right, sorted. Sorry about that. Uh, so the Ranger's tights, which are really just a pair of panties, uh, <laughs> they give resistance to cold. <laughs> Is that for real, dude? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. You, you gotta sometimes think that there's someone of these dev teams that just wants to sabotage the games, right? I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Okay. I don't understand. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, may I, I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? Oh, it's not we've lost our memory, bollocks, is it? You and no other are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Okay. Some days passed. You confronted the dragon in the village of Melville. Yeah, we remember Whereupon that. you became arisen. Yeah, all right, we got that. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared. And in Vermont's long years of council rule. Okay. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Okay. Oh. Vernworth Palace, a few months old. This is quite cool. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. How? What, why did everyone agree that she and was... And just after the consul's passing, when t'was all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Ah. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. Oh, got you. Dear. To D, sir, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. It's just Game of Thrones, isn't it? When Baratheon died. It's just sassy killing all the, the uh, all the bastard the kids, isn't it? It's an impossible feat for mortal hands. Well, we're like, uh, I suppose we're like playing the role of the blacksmith boy, right? Who had the cool helmet. Thus, 
Disa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds. In order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. <sighs> what a terrible woman. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. Dear. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Disa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. Oh, okay. So, so, hmm. so we're all right wandering around in the city then. Like, like, you know, people don't know what we look like then. This one's I clear assume. of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Hmm, interesting. Um. Uh, this brings up a common conversation I've had with some people who play third-person games. I always play a guy, others play a girl. They say, I'd rather look at a girl's butt for 100 hours. We had this conversation yesterday. Yeah. It, it, it's absolutely nonsense, dude. It, 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 it's not that they want to look at, like, a girl's butt over a man's butt, right? They, they're just pervs. They just want to look at a, wo a woman's butt. Yeah, but it's not being pervy. You're a man. That, that's what you're built to do. You, literally, at a very basic genetic DNA level, right? You are a man. You, you are programmed to, to, to like a nice butt, right? <laughs> Male or female. And, and that's all it is, you see. So some people would like to look at a male butt and some people would like to look at a female butt. It's just like, it's not about, oh, I, I don't want to look at a man's butt. I, I'd rather look at a female's butt. It, it's not about that. Uh, now, I, this time around, am playing a female character. I, I very rarely play a female character. Um, in fact, the only time I think you will ever have seen me play a female character is if one, I'm forced to. Because, uh, you know, I'm not playing Center of a Sacrifice, but you, you'd have no choice there, would you? But um, normally if I'm playing Skyrim, because I like tits and ass, and I spend a lot of time modding bouncy tits and ass into Skyrim, and I'd rather look at a bouncy pair of tits and ass on my non-stream time <laughs> with my sexy lingerie mods <laughs> than I would bouncy schlongs of Skyrim. I mean, I have both, to be honest. I have them both installed, but... Um yeah, that, that, that's what it's about. Uh, this time I played a female, uh, mainly because I, I just like the look of this actual character. And as soon as I saw her, I thought, actually, she looks kind of cool. Uh, she, she's... <laughs> There's a tale I'm not going to get into on stream, but she reminds me of someone. I'll just say that. So I just went with her. I just went with her, you see. So, yeah. Yeah. You did in scum. Did you really? Yeah. Uh, does the scum have bouncy boob physics? I can't remember, dude. But yeah, it's. It's not about. I'd rather look at a butt. You don't, you don't look at the butt. You, you, in a third person game, you very rarely look at your character, really. But most of the time, you're looking at the rest of the screen, aren't you? It, it, it's copium at best. Uh, both Vermund and Batal regard the scourge of the dragon. Oh, hang on. Remind me who Batal is? But Batal's another. Shit, what's Batal? V Vermund is the region, right? Uh, so Batal, is, is that is that another city or something? Uh, regard the scourge of the dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the powerful creature alight on either side of the border, both nations are... Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, sworn to provide aid as well as to assist in the evacuation of the populace from scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. Confirm. I mean, another thing with Skyrim, all jokes aside, another thing with Skyrim is if I'm playing like a big hulking melee build, uh, and I, I always mod my Skyrim combat to be like how I'm going to be playing the character rather than trying to get a warm mod to suit them all, which is the problem with things like Nolvus, which I think has terrible combat. Like, I, I think it's unplayable, to be honest. Um... If I'm playing a hulking Nordic Viking-esque warrior, yeah, I'm going to play a male. If I'm playing a sneaky, sneaky, stag, stabby, stabby stealth archer, I'm going to play a female. And that's the way it works for me. The other reason that I will change my class in Skyrim 
is if I'm adding a particular companion mod. So, for example, I, I once played, and I can't remember the name of the mod because we called a hurdy gurdy. Um, brilliant mod, voice acted by the actual mod author themselves. Beautiful character, beautiful backstory. Um, phenomenal. So, so obviously, I wanted to have a romance with her at least in the game. Uh, so, I, I so I played a male. Um, so, I suppose that that's where I sit really. Uh, I always play female if I'm given a choice to say helps. Yeah, and there you go. I mean, and so there you go. It's about immersion, but it's not necessarily about me immersing in is me. You know, I, I, if I want to play as a female character, uh, I, I do. You know, I, I, I tend to have like a much smaller, lighter framed build in Skyrim if I'm playing like a stealth archer. But yeah, yeah. In, in general, I always play a male. Uh, I don't think I've ever played a female in an MMO unless it's one of those MMOs where the class dictates, if you like, the sex. Uh, a lot of Korean MMOs, Lost Ark, I think, did that, for example. A lot, a lot of ARPGs do that. Uh, so, so there's another sort of, uh, I suppose... Uh, but breaking of the fundamental, you know, status quo for me, really. So, what, so you just ran around in, in scum, nude, did you, Joshua? <laughs> you look at goblins, you penetrate your logs. Uh, adverts and beams on goblins. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, I, I know I know. there's some mods for hag ravens in Skyrim that make them look weirdly, like, sexy, but in a terrifying way. It's one of those, like, confusing things. It's a bit of a tough wank, let's put it that way. Same reason I put Aerith and Tifa in the skimpiest bikinis at Costa del Sol. Uh, oh, did they look... Oh, yeah. Aerith. Aerith. Is that, that's not your spell, Aerith, is it? Is it not A-E-R-I-T-H? Or is that another character? Is, is there another one? Aerith. Uh, at the moment, my female character, I can't... Uh, I can't help but look at her ass because one, the character model is really nice and two, she's running around in her panties... I'll enjoy that until I get new armor. I bet you're not, really. I, I bet you're not. I bet you're looking at all the cool, you know, hairy Cyclops things. <laughs> you try playing about characters. It was a redhead too, group. Yeah, I have a bit of a problem with redheads. Yeah. Uh, but in the end, I had to pay for a character to change and make him female. It just didn't work for me. Oh, I, I, I would play uh, a, a game sometimes. Ah, it's an interesting one, actually. Sometimes class does actually heavily dictate what I play. So I would play... I tend to prefer my casters. And I don't play a lot of casters, to be honest. But if I was to play like a mage in World of Warcraft, it would be female. It, well, it was Aerith. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed I even know that, Casco. It goes to show I do know a bit about Final Fantasy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Until it gets cold. Really like drying out my clothes. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I was going to say. I actually imagine wandering around in scum naked. It's, it's probably not that. Oh, wow. Look at all the detail in all the scrolls and books. Wow, that's really nice, dude. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, let me just read this one, one more time. So, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in such an event, all troops are accepted to put aside any disagreements to the faith of culture and develop themselves wholeheartedly. So, so, in other words, like, they will band together if need be. And all this stuff, man. Why can't I steal all this? In Skyrim, I could like fools rope dart this and it'll be bouncing around the room and then yeah, it'd, be, it'd be mad, wouldn't it? All right. What, what's the sequel? The... Pray, forgive me. I'm in a Who bit of a hurry. Fuck are you? I, I, this is a face you just want to punch, isn't it? Uh, hello? Concern it! Get back here! Uh, what, what, what was that all about? What? I can't move. You What's going there? On? Oh, did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Oh, um, um. Oh, he's around the corner, lot. It's it's just over there, mate. <laughs> it's the, the, the worst hiding seat player ever, dude. He can make, at least make out like a pebble. Uh, I'm gonna lie. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. Oh, guys, I'm going to get in trouble. I've probably just made the worst mistake ever. This is like one of those pivotal moments in the game, right? And no, 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 I completely ruined it, look. All right. Uh, You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. I'm not kind. I'm just extremely inquisitive. 
Uh, <laughs> I'd like to know what you're in trouble for, because the chances are I need to know about it, because I'll probably fuck it up otherwise. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Oh, I need to remember not to get my blades out in the city as well, right? Because everyone started running around in Melv, didn't they? Aha! There oh, no. you are! Oh, no, he's... Now he knows I'm lying! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Dude, this is a disaster! What? what, what? <laughs> it's good to be a He just ran past the guards! Uh, you helped the young man elude his pursuit. Let's, let's have a look at quests. Let's have a look at quests. Uh, I wonder how many failed quests I've had now that I've come into the city. Uh, visit the Star Drop Inn a night and confer with Captain Brandt. Okay. Uh, oh, I just noticed there's a quest. Ah, look. Oh, I can't move the map around here. Uh, remove quest detail. Oh, shit, no. Uh, go to map. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't really move anything. Um, what I could do, though, is obviously set as priority. I can't mark it or anything. I mean, you can zoom in and out on there. On that, yeah, but I can't, I can't. There's no cursor option. <laughs> Um, right, well, should we go and do that? Let's have a little mooch around, boys. Got some bells. There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, don't excellent. start, mate. My bags are full. Let, let's worry about ladders later. Let, let's see. Let's go and speak to the dude, because... Uh, we really need to empty our bags, don't we? Like, urgently, man. Well met, sir. Oh, what the fuck? Forgive my presumption. But were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? Uh, what was I? Was that his granddaughter? Yeah, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. I don't remember Oriel. I remember the girl. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other, for all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Have we met Oriol before? Now listen, tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? Uh, yeah, what have you got, bro? Welcome and well met. Don't think I've forgotten your discount now. I'll knock a few gold pieces off for you by. So spend away, my good sir. Sounds so happy. So such a happy man. I suppose we did save his grant. Uh, an ornate box. An intricate curio sell by merchant who deals in such trinkets. Something small can be stored within the internal compartment. Mm, interesting. Uh, let's say, I mean, this gives us an idea of like scaling on economy, doesn't it? So like, like a healing potion is about 500 gold. So, so they're not cheap, are they? If you're going to buy them. Um, I mean, I don't see any reason to buy that, so I'm not going to worry. Um, I'm not going to sell you anything because I don't need cash. Uh, okay. No purchases oh, should, should to be made carry today, on? I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. I should, I should get him to fucking say that over and over to the fucking girlfriend. Four hundred gold, not bad, not bad at all, boys. Fresh fruits for sale. Get them while they're here. Shipments like these are few and far between. Uh, right, the inn looks like it's over there, then, right? Oh, that's a nice statue, man. Oh look! Oh, it's chopped the head off. Oh, it's chopped the. Oh, that. Oh, so that's that's the arisen look. The arisen just chopped the uh, the dragon's head off. Look. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, right, where's where's the tavern? The tavern looks like it's up there. There's a lot of quite a steps this is up for there. You. Oh my god, who the fuck? Oh, that's, that's Flora, that's the girl! That's the girl who got the rubber hand for, right? Shur Shurig yeah, thingy tone. Shurigan. Shurigan. Shur a surgeon? Shur surgeon. Oh, surgeon. Like a surgeon. Uh, enables the pawn to use curatives. 
on the Arisen and other allies on their own initiative. Pawns without this skill are only able to use items on themselves. What? So is that something I give to a pawn? Oh, that's interesting. Uh... The Surgeon's Tome. A tome that grants a pawn. The Surgeon's Specialized... So is it something they just hold in their backpack? Give that to Alania. Does she have to, like... Do I have to use it or just give it to her, do you think? Uh, I wish they had a stat for... For who all chose lie on that, I know I did. You, you've got to, haven't you? you? You know what it is? The, the reason you do it, it's, it's super simple. It, it's not about inquisitiveness or anything like that. Read. It's basic defiance it? of law and order. No one likes being told what to do. It's one of the very first things that you evolve as a child, is to test the boundaries of, of parents. And, and you've got, basically, the game has given you an option. You've got someone who looks like a normal person. And then you've got someone who is essentially in clothing that is clearly representative of a figure in power. Um, wh whether it be, you know, you, you know a, a king or a law enforcement officer. He was clearly a guard, right? And, and nearly every single time a player is going to choose to side on, you know, the peasant. You know, it, it's built into us to, 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 to defy things. But that's the point in modern day. It's been beaten out of us. We've lost our voice. And, and in, in, in saying that, what, what I mean is we've got more voices than ever that are drowning out the voices that have actually got something meaningful to say. That's the problem. Herein lies the issue with society today. There's too much noise. Exactly, Jaboshua. Absolutely, 100%. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Absolutely. It's everything everything about everything you've ever done in your life is about you conforming. From the minute you were born, you will do what you're told. You'll go to bed when you're told. You'll do your homework when you're told. And you'll go to school and you will be indoctrinated into the entire system. That's what it's about, boys. You know, it's not it's not being sad about it. It's, it's just facts. It's the facts of the world you live in. And as soon as you realise that, you can start doing something about it. Most people won't, though. Um, you actually use the scroll and it replaces their current specialization. What do you mean by specialization? I know about inclinations. I know about augments. You can only have one specialized. Ah, gotcha. I know what you mean now, Smet. We've just learned about those. We just had a little tutorial about that. So, hmm. Interesting. That is interesting. So if, if I go to Alania and I... Oh, where is it? So I'd, ha I'd have to give it back to myself then, yeah? I mean, I can't see... I mean, obviously Alania is a healer. You you would not want to give that to a, a non-primary pawn, would you? I, I assume. And, and, unless it's reusable, which I can't possibly imagine it is. So if I go in here and uh, click that and use it. Not, not sure I like the idea. That, that could end up causing me problems because she's a dedicated healer. I'd rather, I hope she doesn't start like randomly using pots when she could be using magic. You know what I mean? Are you just explain why I made what I thought was a bad decision in my dream this morning before I woke. Oh, it, 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 honestly, it's, it's so amazing how it's programmed into you, mate. You're not, you're not even aware of it. You just see some dude running around the street and a figure of authority saying, have you seen a, you seen a naughty man? It's like, well, hang on. He's saying he's naughty. Maybe he's, maybe he's not. Maybe he was stealing bread to feed his children. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll make up any subconscious... You won't even be aware of this, that it's happening in your head. But what, what you're doing is you're just defying authority, you see? Yeah, there you go. We put it, but a lot of counselling telling people it's more healthy to stop conforming. Yeah, they don't worry so much about what other people. Well, what people need to realise, right, is that no one gives a fuck. 
Do just remember that. No one gives oh, a fuck. Excellent find. Th think of all the terrible things, right, that have happened to young children as they're growing up. And, and they're being expected to maintain these completely unreachable, these inhuman levels of beauty. And, and it's all a masquerade anyway. Because the, the people and the peers that they're looking at are, are don't look like that. It's all filters and, and, and fakery and Photoshop and God knows what these days, right? But they're but being expected and programmed to, to try and reach the, the, these... And it is, you know, the physical world, the beauty of the world. You know, you're being expected to be beautiful, to be clean, to be this, to be that, right? And and sometimes you can't, right? Sometimes you're just an ugly fuck, right? I, I'm an ugly fuck, dude, right? <laughs> I, I, I learned that very early on, right? <laughs> I'm not a pretty individual. I, I am not a Henry Cavill, all right? <laughs> Fucking not even close, all right? I, I'm more like something that would fall out of Henry Cavill's ass, uh, you know, and even that is probably pushing it a little bit, all right? But but imagine like you've grown up and, and like you, you let that weigh on you. You, you, you. Like maybe you can't go to school, maybe you don't want to go out in public. You, you know, you, you, he's eating you up inside. But you know what you got to realize is that no one else gives a fuck. No one gives a shit because they're all so caught up in that exact same thought process you're going through. The, oh my god, I, you know, I, I've got a spot on my nose. Oh god, I can't go out. And everyone's the same. Everyone's caught up in this bubble of perfection. Unattainable perfection. So, as soon as you realise that, like, if you were to walk out of this house, right, without, yet, without your makeup done, I mean, I do suggest wearing trousers because that will get in trouble, but if, if you go out down to Radges and you've got a curry stain on your top, yeah, <laughs> no one gives a fuck. It, it's, they're not losing sleep over it, boys. You're not going to live rent free in the rent for the next six weeks. That dude who had a curry stain on his top down ranches. No one gives a fuck shit. Fucking couldn't give a toss, mate. Don't worry about it. Seriously, do not worry about it. Uh, I bet Henry Cavill's poop. I was going to say. I, I bet that dude could have a poop, right? And he could, like, squeeze at, like, certain intermittent intervals as the poop came out. And it would be like a work of art. You know, it'd be something like you could probably, like, infuse in a glass block and put it in a, you know, a museum of modern day art, you know? And it would be like Henry Cavill's musical poop. <laughs> yeah, trousers. I've got to admit, there are, there are some rules that I think we should abide by. And to be honest, you know, not wearing trousers, I think I think that's that's a problem. I think you should wear at least pants when you go out. And by pants, I mean, like, boxers or whatever, you, briefs, whatever you want to call them. I think that is quite important. I don't think you should get your genitalia out in public. Uh, you know. Uh, Kanye should probably listen to this. Uh, I don't know what the fuck he's doing with his missus, but that's getting weird as fuck, dude. What, what is that about, man? I mean, there's something weird going on there, right? I mean, you know, God bless them. Maybe they're having a right old laugh over it, but... All right, we're, we're in the tavern, boys. Let's get... Oh, wow, this looks nice. This looks cool. Oh, look! It's Advina! Hello, Advina! Could you play uh, what, what can you play, Advina? It's not quite a ukulele, but it'll do, right? <laughs> I used to really care about it until kids. Uh, until kids? Well, you've got kids. You've got kids. You've got kids, you mean. Uh, now I've always got some sort of food stain on my clothes. Yeah, there you go, you see. Honestly, most people just got... They, they're so caught up in those thought processes that they're really not giving that much attention to you. You know what I mean? You know, that, that spot you got on your end of the nose when you're a 14-year-old kid, I don't know, going clubbing or whatever it is. Uh, you know, no one else cares, man. They really don't give a shit. Uh, I literally can't remember the last time I had makeup on. I, I'd love to wear makeup, because it might make me look less ugly. <laughs> I'd, I'd be totally up for it if it became a thing, man. But then I realised I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> It'd just be too much hassle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't have to. I think it might involve a fucking trowel in my case. Uh, he could be afraid to go out of the house because all the idiots will chase him around for autographs and selfies. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't give a fuck anymore. There you go, Advina. Yeah, but you've got a massive pair of tits. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> I didn't know whether to fucking say something on disc. I fucking meant to message you, fucking Anvina. <laughs> I didn't know what to say on that fucking Discord. 
You fucking nightmare, you are. You're a fucking rascal. I'm telling you. There was something in that Discord where someone said something about heads, all right, and brains, all right? <laughs> and, and some correlation with tits. <laughs> so, like, the bigger the tits, the smaller the brain. So, Advina pops in the Discord and says, oh, that might explain why I'm so stupid, or something, like, akin to that. She, she's not stupid at all, but that, that was what she said. So, someone went, oh, prove it. <laughs> Dude, those tits didn't even fit on my fucking phone, mate. I had to zoom out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Cracking rack, mate. Gotta admit, I mean, you know, fucking, you know, I don't I hope it's not taken the wrong way, but fucking hell, mate. Facts are facts, boys. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> fucking, you must have a fucking dodgy back, darling. Jesus Christ. Have some sort of fucking winch system built in on, like a hat. I was thinking, like, like you get you like a cap, well, well like I don't know, As a like matter of string fact, and shit. You know. I find myself <laughs> reflecting on the time I fell in battle. Well, not on the path. <laughs> Focus on the task that lies before you. If the ancient Egyptians can build a pyramid, right, we can sort out your rack, right? <laughs> I mean, Shrek are like, works wonders. Most people take one look and walk away. It means I get all the space I want and I don't have to deal with people. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're saying, bro. I know what you're saying. I, I thought about monetizing Discord with you, Advina. G giving you a cut, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like a sort of like a, a, an OnlyFans, but not. <laughs> Come and join Grum's Discord, the home of Envina. <laughs> Find out more about Envina on Grum's Discord. <laughs> 4 99 for one month or so. Fucking hell, that's the hell. Envina, you, you, you're busy later. <laughs> Oh shit! Holy fuck! Oh my god! Oh Jesus, they've been on Discord looking at your tits, Advina. Look. Oh man, they're, they're fighting it out. Look. <laughs> my tits! No, they're my tits! Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god, he's starting at everyone. Look. Oh my god, it's a massacre! Alright, we're not doing that, Advina. I can't, I can't be modding this in Discord. It'll be a fucking. Oh Jesus Christ, it'll be a disaster. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, let's have a chat with the old... Welcome to the old, uh, star The comely cat. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? It's hideous, dude. We serve all manner of fine ale here. <coughs> oh, God. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Yeah, why not? Make it a stiff one, mate. Buy around 2,000 gold. Jesus Christ, dude. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. Uh, Sit right. back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of Vernworth. <laughs> okay, this, this is not gonna, so we're not going to hear a lot about that then. Uh, oh, wow, that was that was quite cool watching that happen, wasn't it? Now, this is a conundrum. This, this is a conundrum. What is a conundrum? <laughs> Can't say I have any tidings to share. Alright, oh, okay. Uh, are, we, are we meeting the dude in here? Did it say? Did it actually say to meet the dude in here? Uh, uh, where is he? Is, is he like in in a little private room out the back or something? My pack's grown rather heavy. Perhaps yeah, don't don't worry about the packs. We'll hopefully we'll find. Uh, and deposited some of our finds. God, it's so busy in it. Uh. It was, it was like a little cellar or something, wasn't the box of it? Cause it's kind of like a, this is the problem with third person where you can't zoom in a little this bit, you know? So that was like a material. That I'm was sure like a really nice thing with Skyrim, wasn't it? You could zoom in and out on the third person, sort of. Uh, so you could go a little bit more over the shoulder when you were in like a little dungeon area, and zoom back out when you were like on the open plains. I don't seem to be able to find the dude. Hang on. Let me just remind myself what we're doing. Uh, quests. Confer with Captain Brant. You, you think Captain Brant would be pretty obvious to spot, wouldn't you? Oh, dear. What am I to do? 
Uh, I'm confused. Maybe this isn't the inn. Maybe this is. Oh, my, maybe taverns and inns are different. Oh yeah, it might. Uh, it could be on the other side of the road. Look. Maybe that's. A ladder, is it? How convenient. Uh, uh, can, can I change this map to it? This map's doing my head in. Uh, uh, what would it be under? System. There's got to be a way to change the map, right? Options. Camera. Game settings. On. I think that's going to make that a lot easier, right? We ought to put it to good use. Oh, it's one of those fucking annoying games where it's, it's based on ca uh, character rotation. Not camera rotation. I, I, they, they really need to fucking get this basic shit sorted in video games, man. This looks as good a place as any. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm right. So the tavern and the inn. Or whatever they call it. What's this? So, uh, we are aware of the existence of several caverns whose depths extend across the border. If you have cause to delve, be sure to, uh, to be sure to check which side of the border you are exiting from. Okay, speak to this dude. Greetings, welcome to the guild hall. Oh no, this is the guild hall. It was at the bar, was he? Oh, he was back there then. I'll have a look. I thought there might be a place to get a drink in a place like like uh, where where we can sleep. You know, here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Guild. Uh, so this is just... Oh, well, hang on. Let, this is important then. Let's have a look. Um, right, okay. Time to make some decisions, boys. I've got 4,000 discipline, lads. Um, vocation. I don't I mean, I don't know. I don't know whether I want to change vocation yet, to be honest. So we've got Blink Strike, which can be turned into a Burst Strike, which is an advanced form of Blink Strike that allows the user to travel further and more swiftly before visiting a powerful blow upon foes. I mean, that, that sounds like a no-brainer. Airwood Slash could be really important because we are really struggling to take down aerial foes, aren't we? Um, that's the Whirlwind one. Um, delivers a powerful blow with the shield that can knock targets off balance. Shield pubble. An advanced form of shield bash that strikes the target twice. That that sounds good. I, I like the sound of that. I like my shield bash, man. Shield summons. So that's like an aggro gain. Springboard looked really good, didn't it? And, and what, what someone said in chat was this could be really good at like getting out of reach objects as well. So it's not just a combat focus. We, we, morning snorks, we, we might be able to like actually, you know, fling someone up to go and get a chest, if that makes sense. Impeccable guard. Spins nimbly on the spot, blocking attacks from every direction with the shield. Employable even while flinching. Oh, nice. Oh, that could be quite useful. This, this could get around the problem we've got with like being constantly animation locked. Because I guess, I guess that's what, I mean, I don't know what the definition of flinching is for, from a gameplay perspective, but... Let's see what uh, the core skills are. Uh, so we've already got true deflect. Which is a sack of shit, to be honest. Uh, hold X. That's quite useful. That that just looks badass. I, we we just have to get that and just do it all the time because it just looks fucking awesome. Uh, when using defend while enchanted. So enchanted just means like in this case with with a fiery sword automatically counters with an elemental attack corresponding to the enchantment. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. We'll definitely get that. I like it. I like it. Uh, augments. Uh, increases the likelihood of being attacked by foes. Uh, brilliant, but I'm not going to take it yet. I want to spend some points on skills. 
Burst, right, is just... I think I have to have this. I think this this must be a core skill for a warrior because it's it's, it's a gap closer. And, and if there's one thing I've discovered about the warrior is... The mobility is like next to zero. He's got like no dodge or roll or sidestep or anything, has he? This is interesting. What's this? Uh, thrusts the blade into the target's body before raining further blows upon them. If strikes connect, the user clings to larger target. So with the mm, that's interesting. I'm not sure how that works. Is, is that? Hmm. See, the problem with that is when, when something's flinched, so in other words, it's, it's downed, I guess. I tend to use impale, don't I? Or empale, as they call it. So I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Um, I, I think we go for... I, I think shield bash here is a no-brainer. And I, and I think bar strike's a no-brainer. I think we get Airwood Slash. And I'm actually going to put that on. There. Now, can I? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's, that, that, that's cool. That's cool. The, the, yeah, the, this user interface is pretty handy for this. So Airwood Slash, a, a dash and a shield pommel. That's nice. Uh, anybody playing Warrior and got any skills that you've really found useful? I mean, for me, I've got a gap closer with Burst Strike. I've got an aerial attack, which hopefully we can upgrade once we've used it a bit. And I've got Shield Pommel, which just seems really nice at bashing things. I'm tempted to take either... I'm almost tempted to take Springboard. Because it, it could just be a useful one, right? And it could also be cool just, just to see how it works. So press, press the assign button to fling an ally in the direction indicated with left stick. Press the left trigger to cancel. Could be one of those things that's like weird to use there, right? Uh, th is that that one, Robert? Springboard, yeah? I used to use Empal. Yeah, I like Empal. Seems really good because Empal is one of my primary skills, isn't it? One of my is it is it classed as a core skill? It's not, is it? It's just literally built into my class. I don't even what those are called. Just like my inherent skills, right? That, that is shit. That, 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 the parry in this is shit. There's, there's too much happening to, to use it. One-on-one -on -one it might be useful. Um, compass. Sorry, compass slash is fun. Which one was that? Compass. This one here. Is this what you said, Smet? Compass slash. Oh, that, sorry. That was you said it. Uh, I used to... Uh, <sighs> yeah, I suppose if you get surrounded, yeah. Uh, all right, let's try it then. I don't know. No, 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 no. Let, let, let's go for Springboard. Let, let's try Springboard. Forgive let's me, try it. But I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. Okay. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. Okay. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Um, let me just check out Alania as well. Sorry, I forgot about her. What was Palladium? What did that do? So, so, so basically, as it stands, she's got no equipped weapon skills that actually do any healing, has she? So her healing is currently coming exclusively from like some sort of inherent healing that I, I know nothing about. It doesn't tell you anything about it, which I find fucking disgusting, to be honest. That, that, that is very badly done in this guy. Very badly done.
Uh, I'll I'll get levitate. Just just I I, I can't imagine she'll ever use it. Uh, augments. Increases the amount of health recovered by curatives and curative magics. Is that outbound as well? So does that mean she also will heal more if she uses a curative or curative magic? I honestly don't know, but I'm going to take it anyway. Um, has she got any, like, healing or debuff skills? Uh, hastens the speed of allies. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, conjures a magical sigil that cures the caster and the allies of certain debilitations. So, fire, frostbite, and conscious sleep, silence, drenched, and tarred within range. That sounds, that sounds like we must get that. Um, I'm going to pop that in there. All right. Lightning, ice, and fire boons. High palladium. And Palladium, so it conjures a cluster of magical energy that blocks up to three attacks from targets. The cluster will also dissipate over time. Uh, I feel like getting rid of Flagration. So leaving her maybe with Fire Boon and possibly another type of Boon, depending on what enemies we're up against. H Halodom is going to be like my debuff. Is there nothing that's like, like a... Well, that, that could be useful at not... Ooh. I was about to say that could be useful at night. That could be very useful at night. <laughs> Conjures an orb of holy light that deals immediate damage to nearby targets in all directions. The light remains for some time after the attack concludes. That sounds freaking awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for what was it called? Empyrean, yes. And I'm going to equip that over Palladium. And then I'm going to... And I'm going to take High Palladium and replace Flagration with it. God, it's, it, it is a step back, guys. I used to be able to have eight skills on my mage in Dragon's Dogma 1, didn't I? I'm sure I did. I'm sure I had eight skills. And now I get fucking four. That's fucking wank. Like proper wank. All right, let's go. I, I, I was thinking, Smack, mate, it might help and get over, like, gaps with Levitate rather than, like, falling into the water like she did earlier, Methinks which was a bit Roderick embarrassing to will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He, he's, he's got a very Henry Cavill jawline, this fella, hasn't he? He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. But all I can see First, is... we must find out how to procure what we require. Then our search can begin in earnest. Look at this. Can I just steal like the chest from behind him? It's just so dumb. Well met. We want for information. Mayhap we ought to speak with this it's uh, just Roderick. dumb, innit? If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. It, it's like stealing. It's like no one welcome. gives a fuck, dude. Now we shan't lose our way. Hang on a minute. I thought I was trying to speak to Brant. What, uh, oh, it's changed, doesn't it? Uh, quests, Seat of the Sovereign, uh, set as priority. So where is he? Did you say he was sitting at the? Did you say he was sitting at the bar? Did I, did I just completely miss him? How <laughs> does he poo? <laughs> Over here, if you do, do, Does he pinch gently? Well met, sir. Uh. Ah, right. Okay. It might be worth me getting a proper... Oh, hang on, hang on. Is this, hang on, is the innkeeper here the dude that does all the... Is this where really I... At this hour, sir? Can do inventory management. Quite a tale to tell. Oh, it is. Oh, thank God for that. Uh, deposit. Right, okay. Uh... Oh, fuck me, dude. Um, I'm just... I just, I just feel like putting everything away right now, dude. And then just like... Sherry picking a few things out because it's just getting 
just getting weird, dude. Uh, I'll keep the oil and the light, yeah? Confirm. There we go. So that only leaves equipped gear and my lantern. That'll do. Uh, right, a line here. Oh, we want to keep that. Uh, did you have a nice weekend, for? I think I caught you right at the end of the stream yesterday, for. How are you? How's things? Uh, I mean, we will, we will like, do a little bit of inventory management. I think while we're wandering around the town, I'm going to assume we've got some quests and some people to... Oh, shit. Some people to have a natter with, so... Uh, Alania is still really heavy. Why is Alania so heavy? Wow, Alani is... Wow, she she can't carry a lot, can she? It uh, doesn't look like I can either, really. Um, He's got nothing. He's got a book. I think that's as good as I can do it, right? I suppose what we don't want to do, though, you, you, you don't know what's going to happen in the city, do you? So we do want to go a little bit prepared. So I am thinking... What do you reckon? I mean, if I take... If I take the ripened apple, yeah, what, what do I combine the ripened apple with to make one of those robber ants? Anyone oh, it was the, it was this, wasn't it? So if I take 14 of those and the apple and then take all the other apples, yeah? I should be able to make robber ants. I will take... 10 healing. Right, here we go. Modest camping kit. These, these, these weigh seven. And we've got an explorer's camping kit. See, it says nothing about durability, guys. There's nothing about durability there, is there? It says a kit that can be used to set up camp at suitable locations. Inexpensive and lightweight, but liable to collapse if attacked. Um, a kit that can be used to set up camp at suitable locations, efficient without being unduly weighty. It is favoured by explorers travelling far. So there's no mention of durability anywhere, is there? Yeah, they, they, they need to be, I need them to be ripe, though, too. That's what I mean. Uh, I've only got, like, the warm. I think I've got warm. Uh, oh, the, oh, sorry, this is withdrawal, isn't it? Um... What, uh, I, what, what's the other thing? How do you make that lantern oil? It's like rotten food. Oh, shit, I can't remember what it is. Anyone remember how you make lamp oil? Yeah, you yeah, no, no, oh, yeah, no, no. Uh, we, sorry for, no, we were talking about, the, there's, some, there's some misunderstanding about how camping kits work. So, like, some people, like, I used a camping kit earlier and it seemed to vanish. So once I'd used it, even though we weren't attacked, it disappeared out of my inventory. But other people have been saying they've like used their camping kit a couple of times before it's maybe left their inventory. So we're kind of not sure what's going on. Uh, rotten fish. I, I thought it was anything rotten. Oh, it might be rotten fish. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me, let me take... Well, hang on. We'll let's try it. Uh, so... If I'm in withdraw, you're saying I can combine from here. How do I combine here then, To The combine option don't seem to be there, bro. Or do I just... Oh, hang on. Do I just click it? Do I actually click the product? Uh, click. No, it just says withdraw. It's another option like withdrawing. Oh, there. Oh, right. Oh. Might as well just back out. Um, okay. Uh, so. That's the dried meats and things. Can't be used. That's the lantern oil. So. What, so is it. So is it. Own, so hang on then. So. Rotten meat can't be used for oil. It has to be rotten fish. Is that right? Um, is that right, uh, Smet? The 
recipes. Let's uh let's have a look. What was it? Um Oh my god, it puts all the combat on oh, what a pain in the fucking ass, dude. I can't even see lantern oil, dudes. It's just not there anymore. That's weird, isn't it? What why's the why's the lantern oil not there? That was it that was in my recipe list before. Have I gone past it? Am I just missing it? What the hell is a wicking remedy? A medicine that when taken has the curious effects of removing excess oils on the skin. See, it's shown me recipes that I don't have the gear for, and I know for a fact I've seen them make the lantern oil. So why is the recipe not here in, in this menu? Well, when I know I've seen it before. Where, where all the other things are. Makes no sense, does it? Let me, let me, let me come out. Oh, it's not going to let me, is it? Because I, I won't have any... Uh, missing any ingredients. No, it doesn't matter. You, you, you can see there that the, rec the recipes there I didn't have the ingredients for. So that doesn't explain it, killer. Uh, rotten potato and rotten fish or meat is oil. Yeah, yeah, but I just clicked on the rotten meat and it was saying there wasn't anything there. Do you have to have one of the ingredients? Uh, ah, right. Is that what it is? So, so when I was looking there, I'd got... So it was grayed out because I'd got one of the ingredients, but not the other. Ah, could be there. Could be, yeah, 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 yeah. So if I take rotten meat... Because I'm surely I've got rotten potatoes. Ripened harspuds. Harspuds. Oh, wait. Oh, the potatoes haven't rotted. God, this is a fucking shit system in it. What a fucking boring piece of shit, dude. It would be fine if it was just combined. This this fucking ripening thing needs to be removed. It's fucking dumb as fuck, in it. It really is dumb fuckery, man. So if I take a load, if I take ten of those and let those just rot, then yeah. God, I hate that. That is so dumb. What the fuck were they thinking, bro? And maybe if I take another four of these as well and let those rot, yeah? You've never used that. I, I used it already. I've already used one earlier too. Um, it's the, my, my lantern started flickering. I had to use one. God, that is terrible. I, I swear to God, some game developers are just fucking clueless, man. It, it's it's like it's like being given something, right? But then being told you have to wait to use it. It's just fucking dumb. Dumb as fuck can be, dude. And, and, and the problem is, it also fucks up your game time. Because, because you, you know, like, for example, if I need a ripened apple, I have to keep going in my inventory to see if it's ripened, yeah? And, and, it, and it, if I get sidetracked by, oh, I don't know. Oh, let me say, oh, by enjoying the fucking game, it suddenly, it, it goes past ripened and, and becomes rotten. And now it's no use for my rubber ant. It's such a fucking dumb system. Much obliged. Come, I'll lead the way. Uh, right, we need to find... God, this game is a fucking train wreck in places, man. Um, right, I still haven't found Brant, have I? It wouldn't be so bad, like, if it had, like, a little alert. Went, dingo, dingo, dingo. What's that, mate? Your apples are ripened. <laughs> I can I can probably live with that. Oh god, it's so laborious. 
Uh, driver's day board. The other day, I arrived at the border checkpoint. I need to realize I'd left my entry permit back at the end. Ended up having to t make the trip back, so I was late for my delivery. When I complained to a fellow driver about it, he said next time I ought to use a beast run mask. Seems Batal favors... Oh, is that where the beast run come from? Is that what Batal is all about? Is that like the Khajiit homestead? Uh, so they can get three without the hassle of a permit. It might be worth keeping the disguise. Oh, right. So we need to get like a cat person. Oh my god, they did not just auto craft all that salubrious. Please tell me that didn't just happen. Did they just craft that or did they just find that? What just happened? Why why have I just made like twelve salubrious delight? Did they just use all my apple? Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna rage quit this guy. This game is just fucking terrible. This is just fucking ridiculous. So now all the apples that I wanted to ripen to make robber ant, some fucking idiot has just mass produced into salubrious delight. Did, did they even play the game? Did, did, did they actually play this game? I can only assume they didn't. Uh, what are my two rings? Uh, a ring that finds... I, I just... I, it's, it's just stupid, dude. Like, absolutely fucking stupid as fuck, man. Um, let's see if we can find Brant. Where the fuck is he? Uh, you said he was back in the main tavern, didn't you? Which is that in is that like on the lower level, is it? There's a ladder here. Getting through there, we right? ought to put it to good use. I I'm struggling a bit, Max. It, all, all, all this it, it, it's it's just it's just dumb, dude. All, all, all these little silly I, I you know what I'm thinking of doing? It's like just playing with me and uh, what's a name? Is that in there? I'm a tad preoccupied just now, yeah. if you can't tell. I, th I think I need to come at, uh, I think it said at night time, didn't it, as well, so... He's not gonna be here. Over here, if you it. would. Uh, I, I know if I can be asked to play Dragon Storm with two dudes. Uh, this is just, like, dumb as fuck. It, it, it's just, like, clicky clicky. It's, it's basically a clicky clicky game at this point. So now I've gotta go and actually spend money, right? To wait until night to find a dude in a tavern, right? This is just shit. This is just fucking train wreck. Can, can I just go and do some killing? Is there, is, does anyone know if there's like some quests I can go and get and just go and murder some things? Because this is this is just becoming boring as fuck, man. Uh, port crystal. Juice of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals. At oh, right. So this is the auto one, is it? Uh, you must have uh, up to 10 port crystals placed at various locations throughout the world. Uh, once plants the port... Can you MTX port crystals? Uh, or only like the fairy stones? Uh, permanent port crystals in citizens' hands must be interacted with at least once. Oh, so you do need to This isn't with the way to our destination, but I presume you have a new one in mind. Okay. Lead on. Oh, uh, you can sell benches. All right, so I can just... So I don't need to spend money. Oh, let's try it then. Let, let's go back. Can I, can I do it inside the uh, pubs, man? Or? Yeah, I need to do it at night, don't I? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it, it, did, it did say something silly, like a, a, a night, didn't it? So some bullshit, yoldy fucking yabber. Uh, the peddler's ledger. Heard some people in the tavern talking about a shop over in the rest of... Fucking dumb. A scrap store, they call it. Doesn't sound like much, but apparently you can have four... Oh, it's the same as the first guy. Uh, reckon that grim where I lost all that coin on was one of them. Maybe I could earn it back by making some forgeries of my own and selling them off to collectors. All right, let, let's go. And s so, what about if I just rest here? Apparently, I can't sit on this bench. Dude, could you, uh, dude, could you teach me how to sit on benches, mate? Apparently, I, 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 I've lost the skills of buttock sitting. What about this one? This, this might be one. Ah, uh, there we go. Over here, if you please. Uh, doze off. Ah! I would, I would never have seen that. 
It's in the contextual menu, isn't it? Uh, all right. So do I have to do it again? Set. Goes off. Do I just have to keep doing that until it's night? Oh my god, this game is so bad. Over here, master. Did you lose sight of me? Maybe it was already dark and it just didn't look very dark. Can't get him there, can we? I still don't know where he is. You say it's at the bar, but I mean, look, looking at the map, right? The whole tavern is that, that, that upper floor, isn't it? Um, let me go back up that side. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Oh, there he is. Uh, out of way, knobs. Your fucking majesty. hell, dude. It's been a fucking long journey Your getting to you, Bran. Some fuckers fucking nicked all I me apples, mate. I made, like, shitty healing potions with them. Uh, I had to learn how to sit on my ass. God. It is not a matter for prying ears. Pray. Let us speak out here. All right. I like his sword. His sword looks fucking awesome. Get my God, what's the matter with your eyes, bro? <laughs> did, you, did you see that? That envies his eyes, then. Uh, all right, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No one's going to notice us over here, are they, mate? As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Sycophant. I like that word. Sycophant. Should Deesa denounce your Majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> the irony was not lost on me, Max. <laughs> uh, few would elect to doubt. I can't believe that asshole used all my goddamn apples, dude. I was, I was thinking, all right, I get it. It's a pain in the ass. I hate this, like, dumb ass freaking spoiling mechanic, right? So I thought, all right, I'll play the game. I'll play it. I'll meet you halfway. I'll put all the apples on one of the pawns, right? And I'll, you know, wait for them all to go fucking ripened or mouldy or whatever the fuck I want. I, I turned my back for one minute, dude. <laughs> and someone's made an apple crumble. It's like, dude, I've been collecting those apples for days, bro. I think they were in mine too. I, I think that's what's confused me. They're actually in my inventory, bro. I'm sure I didn't give it to the pawn. I was going to, but I don't think I did. Uh, same as Dragon's Dogma 1 killer. Uh, all, all, all the fluff mechanics are train wrecks, dude. But, but if, we, if we can just get to fighting monsters... Uh, it, it's, it's been alright so far, dude. If I could find, like, a dungeon with some skeletons in it, uh, or, or, you know, like, a, I don't know, like a Cyclops or something out in the world to fight, I'd probably get back in the swing of it, but my God, did Capcom not make a good role-playing game, dude? Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. Nice bit of crimble crumble, mate! Bit of crimble crumble! Is it that we fucking apples? It was delayed so that the Sovereign that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been... Don't set. let me forget to update the pawns, guys. I need to update my pawns. So, we need to find a rift stone, don't we? Uh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. Uh, it's the answer something that is the false arisen... Uh, yeah, okay. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. Okay. None would be able to deny that you are the Makes true sense. arisen, then. There is a problem, however. Oh dear, okay. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. All right, tell me a tale, mate. Only select members of the nobility uh -huh. and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity. All right, we're going to do some quests. Entry. We're going to get some reputation grinding, boys. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Okay. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. If it involves apple crumble, I will literally punch you in the face, dude. It doesn't look like there's any apple crumble involved. Unless there's an apple crumble monster. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. 
I dare say. Twould be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks or needed. Okay. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this oh, matter? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I might be a bit. Let me check my diary, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, apple cr what? Apple crumble? F really? I'm making an apple crumble later, mate. Sorry, me mom's gonna help me. I thank you, Your Majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Travo Mine. Oh, nice, to the a mine. Excellent. That We've sounds had reports awesome. of goblins swarming in great numbers. Bish bash bosh boys. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to oh, call an infestation of Saurians so well. Yeah, we, we can live with that. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. Okay. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. All right, we can do that. Oh, bridges. There's going to be a troll under the bridge, right? There All right, I'm no up for that. Of beasts We've got a plan, boys. In this world. We've got a plan. Uh, quests. Monster culling, vocation, frustration. <laughs> According to the guild head, you will need to procure your own weapon if you wish to register as either a sorcerer or a warrior. Okay, well, they don't care about that. Uh, warriors suck ass. Uh, you have been given three tasks to cull the goblins at Trevo Mine, northwest of Vernmoth, Vernworth, Vermouth, to aid the soldiers dispatched to kill. Yeah, all right, we've got all that. Uh, Says priority. Okay. Uh, map. Uh, we can go to the world map, can't we? Oh wow! No. Oh, dude, this is oh right. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. We've got a fair, a fair old trek in front of us. Uh, we'll go to this one. We'll go to the easternmost one first. Um, we'll, we'll obviously make sure we pack there all is the essentials. No we'll us. We uh, you're right, my darling. Uh, it's uh, nice to meet you open. all. It's a beautiful city. Beautiful Great. city. Allow me to show you the way. No, it's alright, mate. It's alright. Uh, we need to find somewhere. Is that a rift stone that I can see over there on the mini map? The, the like, little whirly sparkle thing, yeah? It does look like one, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not sure how to get to it. Uh, that's that's the. What are they called? Port stone, yeah? Uh, it's down there, apparently. Over here, if you would. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, oh hang on. Or is it? You see on the minimap there, like dead in front of me on the minimap, it's got like a little squirrely thing. What's that, boys? Uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, if I can get out of the city, I, I, to be honest, I'll this never This ladder like. looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, excellent oh. find. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that was nice. Ooh! Oh, that's the real. Oh, nice, dude. We found it. Uh, we, we're going to be going back to, to outfit anyway, aren't we? Because I was going to say, like, we can take their lanterns, but I think we'll be all right, yeah? I assume everyone gets a lantern, right? Uh, so we want to examine. Search for a port. Oh, no, hang on. I need to get rid of my current ones, right? Uh, right, Rook, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'd love to give you a rating, and I'll use but those in my this game's a bit jizz, to be honest, mate. spare time. Uh, dismiss. Uh, you're not having anything because the game. I'm, I'm going to blame the game for Farewell, that. Farewell, Arisen. Oh my I God! Only wish that I could stay. Look, she. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <sighs> for later, boys. Okay. Uh. And who else did we have? Uh. Honor. Was it Honor? Was that the other one? Speak your will, and I'll see it done. What do you mean, Parv? A healthy male? Healthy male? Uh, as a, a scantily clad lady with her knickers and, and, and thigh-high boots? Healthy male, not a perv. A perv would be... <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much what my chick looks like. I, I, that's the one that Dr. Nosis has linked in Discord, isn't it? This is the, the ever-present range. I know she's got elven ears at the back, Lord. Can you make pointy ears in the content creator? All right. Uh, right, I'm sorry. I have to dismiss you, my fair maiden. Uh, you're getting fuck all out of me. It's, it's not your fault. It's just this new bullshit. Did you farewell, Arisen. I trust you will not soon forget the supremacy of the bow. Uh, yeah, okay. No worries. Um, all right, let's 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 get some pawns then, boys. Uh, 
Search for a pawn. Advanced pawn search. We're going to go for... Yeah, I, 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 we'll, we'll go with two-level disparity, so it's just less clicking. Uh, we're going to go for an archer, and we're going to go for... Mm, what do you think, boys? Mage, maybe? Warrior, maybe? Thief? Maybe a thief. Let's see if we can find a thief. Uh, we're going to go all female. Uh, and, and we want... Oh, and we want a human, because I ain't never taken a Khajiit ever. Uh, I don't care about that. I'm not sure if that cock blocks us. Uh, bold defense, tackling fierce foes. Don't care about that. Search. What have we got, boys? It's going to have a ganders. It's going to have a ganders. Oh. Did I fuck it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, right, let's have a ganders out here. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll, all right. Facada. All right, you, you look kind of cool. Level 11. You look kind of cool. Uh, K, you look kind of cool. Oh, she looks lovely. Pew pew. <laughs> I'll take pew pew. I enjoy tackling <laughs> fierce foes. Oh, she's an elf. Pew pew elf, look. Gathering items. Oh, yeah, we can I'm flip her. Can't we? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So I'll be back in a sec, darling. Hang on a sec, mate. Hang on. Back in a sec. Yeah, I've just spotted someone over the other side of the bar. Holy fucking dick balls. Coco, mate. Uh, I don't know. Pew Pew or Coco, boys? Coco looks a little bit like she needs some food. She needs like some pies. You know, she's looking a bit like anorexic the there, isn't she, mate? She, needs, she needs a bit charms. of meat on the bones, boys. Probably, pro probably better to let her... Re oh, my God. I'll be back in a sec, Donna. Sorry, I'll buy you around in a minute, yeah? Holy fuck. Who's this one? Alexandra. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Oh, hang on. She's got red eyes. That means she's a vampire. We don't want. We don't want her. Oft uh, does the bow prevail? Where? Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. Sorry, you coming with me, darling? We're gonna have a whale at the time, right? And now we want uh, Aya. Aya, you look good. You look Very cool. well. I shall lend you my aid. I you shall do lend seem to you be in my aid. <laughs> I'm a very well skilled ninja. Ninja. Ah, good. I see the Arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Come on, crack on. We got places to go, people to see. Uh, all right, let's let's so go back to the. Uh, oh shit, my bad. Uh, leave the rift. Let's go. This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, Ooh. there is an illness we pawns can Ooh. catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. This is the dragon blight thing, Symptoms include it? an unruly attitude and overconfidence. Uh -huh. And in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. All right, okay. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. Oh, right. Oh, so... so so the, this is the dragon blight. So, so basically, what, what I know about the dragon blight, if that's what it's called, is that uh, they, basically the pawns can get sick, right? And then if you rest in the town, uh, they, they get up at night and then they go and stab all the NPCs in the face. Uh, and like the whole city just ends up with like, there's just like no one there, yeah? But apparently they do come back. Uh, and there's rumours out there that, it, you know, essential NPCs will come back within, like, you know, a two-day cycle. Uh, others will come back after a seven-day cycle. So, so it, it's not, like, a total catastrophe, apparently. But we've just, we've just learned something important there, haven't we? Um, if they start getting unruly and overconfident. So if anyone spots, like, one of the, one of the pawns being... Have a look. Uh, speaking of you being in the city, do you feel like you've had FPS drops in the 30s? Uh, well, if you haven't modded it, you will be getting drops into the 30s because you haven't got a magical PC, Alethian. So, yeah, e even on the 7800X3D and the RTX 4090, um, I would say definitely into the 40s without all the mods that I'm running. 100%. Uh, as Gamers Nexus have proven, Digital Foundry have proven... So if you're not getting them, you're just not noticing them. You know, it's uh, and, and that's brilliant. I mean, if you, if you don't feel like you're getting it. Um, unless you're blind and kind of not smart, you won't have it happen. So, so is it really obvious, team? Are they kind of like going to, you know, they'll be like, Oh, I'm in a really bad mood today. <laughs> I'm only going to stab some NPCs in the face. 
Uh, it would be funny if you'd come home and the girlfriend would have an apple crumble party. Uh, my, my girlfriend loves apple crumble. Apple crumble and custard. Absolutely loves it, mate. Uh, but she would never make it. She, she'd buy it from a shop. My, wares. my, my girlfriend... Mm, mm. <laughs> be very careful what I say here, Max. <laughs> Feed us some apples. I can't believe they used my apples. That has pissed me off. The way. You can probably tell, right? That really fucking annoyed me, that has. That is some shit mechanics, that is, boys. Uh... All right, so hang on. Oh, there's a barber down here. Look. Uh, what else do we want to do? It's really hard to make out the, like the icons, isn't it? Interested in my wares? It'd be nice if we could zoom in and out on the minimap a little bit. Because look, it's saying there's something right there on the minimap, right? So you've got to assume it's. Oh my god. Uh, you've got to assume it's like around here, yeah. Oh, it's that. It's that thing. All oh, right. Okay. Um. At your this, this is the this is the dude we want, isn't it? There's a ladder here. After you were risen. I am a most canny plan, my lord! Uh, I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Now, can anyone tell me, right? Okay. <coughs> so these inn and tavern bollocks, yeah? The game has two save systems. One of them is your fail safe. And that is one that you can only get when you rest at an inn slash tavern, whatever, right? Is that what that rest is? Is that what that is? Because that is completely separate to the save that you do manually, which is then also overwritten by the auto saves. Or it, because apparently this is quite important as well. Some people have made an error here, haven't they? So, so it's this it's this option here, Smet, yeah? It's it's the one that I'm gonna spend two grand for, yeah. Uh do you have to drink like a special potion to save? No, that was Kingdom Come Deliverance. But I think I think they sold I think they changed that in the end, didn't they? Uh yo, so take care take, take careful. Stay safe. Yeah, you're right, Tongi. That is your belief. So two so two grand would get me a solid save in this town then, yeah? Uh I reckon we do the storage and we do that then. Let's just make sure I haven't picked up any crap. Like, uh, oh, I don't know. 45,000 fucking apple crumbles. I, I know it's not... Oh, yeah, because they won't. Well, I, I hate that system. I can't even tell you how bad that system is. I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. I despise it with all my heart. I really hope someone mods that out. I don't think there's a way to mod it out, though, is there? I mean, how, how would you mod it out? Uh, rabber on. Yeah, I'll take that. I've got two of those. So that's all looking pretty good. Uh, maybe I should give that... I, I could give the ring... Boost, uh, what have I got? Uh, defense and magic defense. And maximum health. So if I give maybe that one to Alania, that's probably a good idea, right? So they all have a lantern, but Alania's lantern sadly has no oil in it. Um... What? Let me let me have a look. Uh, what can I consume for stamina, dudes? What what stamina? It used to be mushrooms, didn't it? Uh, stamina. A ripened princess harbor, but that's gonna go rotten, right? So if I take it, it's gonna go rotten. So it's fucking dumb. Uh, ripened harbor, small amount. Small amount. What can I do to get... What can I do to get stamina back, boys? Got to be something, all right? Uh, I've got two heavy camping kits. I'll, ta I'll take one of the heavy... All right, so just remember that, then. So I've got one he... Oh, no. Modest. We'll, we'll call them what they're called. So I've got one modest and one explorer in the bank. And I've got one modest on me, okay? 
Stamina is potatoes. Is there no way to make like a, a concoction that isn't going to degrade? Because the problem we take like, I'm going to go take a load of potatoes out, mate. So I can eat like the potatoes in the middle of a fight. I get like really strong in it. You know what I mean, man? And they're like, oh shit, oh no, I need some stamina, bro. Get some potatoes out of the bag. And I get some potatoes out of the bag and they're all rotten. You know what It's oh no, dude, I'm going to die now because i got the potatoes. Fuck the potatoes. The potatoes have all got moldy, bro. It's just dumb. Uh, if you add cinnamon bark to any Radarant, you get a better one that heals you more and gives you... Well, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be fucking brilliant. Yeah? Oh, great. Thanks for that. Rub it in, why don't you? Uh, what do I need to make Radarant? Oh, yeah. Fucking apples. Which some fucking assholes just made into apple crumble. Go fuck yourself. Um... <laughs> uh... Right, right. I've got ripened spuds, ripened prince. Oh my god, it's even different types of potato. Oh, I've got a golden delicious. Oh, got all uh, Granny, uh, Granny Smith, mate. Yeah, you wank every day. It's, it's apparently that's good for the prostate. That's what I tell myself anyway, mate. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so. It, so what do you say? What do you say? Combine, combine the ripe potato. Combine the ripe potatoes. Why? What, what, what happens if I combine potatoes? Well, what would I combine? What if you? Well, what, like, what would I get? Mashed potato. Where, where's the potatoes gone? I can't combine potatoes. They're not here. Oh, uh, right. dried spuds. Uh, what, what am I going to do with them? Oh, is that to make the radarant? Oh, yeah. Oh, because these are ripened. Yeah, so, so this is what I was trying to do with the apples, yeah? God, that sucks donkey balls. That just sucks donkey balls, dude. Uh, shall, I make, shall I make some dried meat while we're here as well? Uh, I've, got, I've got one apple left. Can't really do a lot with that, can I? Oh, I can. Oh, oh right. So ripen apple. Oh, the cranberries ripen as well. Does that mean the grapes ripen? I'm not sure. Uh, Braid burn apples. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit weird with apples. I'll eat any apple. I, like. I just like apples, dude. I used to love Granny Smiths. Used to really... Because Granny Smiths have got... A little, is it, they're a little bit like sour. They've got a bit of a little bit... You know what I mean? It, it don't matter, though, does it? This is what I'm saying, Smith. It, it, it's just a dumb system. There's no, no one on this planet can convince me that this is a good system. You know, I'm all for things degrading, but but having to get that intermediary one, you know, ah, yeah, oh, let's just go check the inventory. Let's see, my apples are fucking ripened. I don't even do that with real apples, dude. You know what I mean? I don't check the apples to see if they've ripened or gone. I just eat the fuckers, right? Yeah, Granny Smiths have got. Yeah, they're, they're really green and they're really they're really hard, aren't they, Granny Smiths? Got a real crunch, little bit of kind of. A little bit of bitterness to them, you know? And I used to really like those. Uh, I, I, I quite like the small Cox's apples. They're quite nice. Um, yeah, I mean, a apples are lovely. Apples are really nice, man. Uh, okay, well, anyway. Uh, let's deposit. We'll put that away, that away, and that away. Uh, I think that's everything, right? I think I think we roll with that. I mean, we've got a little bit of healing. Um, so we still haven't solved the stamina issue, though, dudes. And unless dried spud, yeah. So dried spud is a fair amount. Is there any way to get like better? You know, like the salubrious is a fair amount, and the robber ant is a great deal. I'm gonna assume I can combine the dried spuds with something, can I? Is, is that, is that, uh, shall I try it? Uh, dried, dried meat is health. Spuds. Oh, it is. It is. Nice one, Smet. Cheers, bro. Um, so maybe. Yeah, make, make a, is that what that is? Fruit robber ant. No, no, we don't want that. Anyway. We want the dried meat is health. The dried fruit. These dried spuds. 
So we've got the mincemeat robber ant, horsebird robber ant, and fruit robber ant. What a fucking sack of shit, dude. Um, I'll take the horsebird robber ant with us. Can I, can I just buy healing potions and just not have to do all this Much shitty crafting? Because this crafting is... Oh, I thought, oh God, I, th I thought I just made some more apple fucking crumble then. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. I was about ready to pass out in stress mode, mate. I can't but they'll be out of money. Well, I'm not, because I haven't, I haven't had to use a single potion yet, have I? So I, I can't imagine I'm going to be chugging them very regularly. It's going to see. It's going to see what it's going to cost me. Well, take a look while you're here, eh? Uh, from tents to blankets, chairs to cooking pots, and camping kits of out for you need for trips near and far. You'll not want to go anywhere without one. Need anything? Uh, mushrooms. Hang on, before I do, that, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to rob you blind, mate. Don't take it personal. Yeah, I do this to everyone. I'm a fucking kleptomaniac, mate. There you go. Right, let's, let's continue to go. It's, it's like me walking into ranches, taking, a, taking a packet of Pringles off the shelf and eating them in creations. front of him while I have a chat. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Uh, yes. Bye. Right, okay, let's have a look. Uh, 200. Oh, no, they're quite cheap. Fucking hell, they're actually. Whoa, these are loads cheaper. Weren't these 500 gold somewhere else? Oh, land look at this. All that fucking around. Oh, I gotta get like, it'll be fucking right and fit. Look, it's, it's like 100 gold, dude. They're like fucking dirt cheap, bro. This is just dumb as fuck, dude. Uh, what about. Oh, this is so cheap. Oh, there's, there's no there's no stamina stuff, though, dude. Ah, uh, right. So actually, so I'm still screwed then. Uh, what about armor? No, uh, that's it. Oh, look at this. Uh, what's that? 155,000 for a courtly tunic. Oh, oh, we might have to save up for this. Look, this is like some sort of disguise, maybe. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, sadly, there's nothing for stamina. Right, let's have a look at this. Thing. So there's a mundane camping kit. A grass patterned camping kit. This is like a camouflage one, look. Particularly sturdy against monsters that prowl the Vermundian soil. Interesting. Uh, an explorer's camping kit, which is the lightweight version, right? Hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm almost tempted to buy one of those. But I mean, we've got plenty of fuel now, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, Many thanks. <clears throat> You're right, sir. Major Hoft. How are you doing on YouTube? Uh, mix Granny Smith with Cos... Oh, I don't know what a Cosmic Apple is. What's a Cosmic Apple? Oh, so, so, so hang on. The Radarant... So, so if I could find a place... To, so if I could find an easy way to make Radarant and I add cinnamon bark to it, I'd get like an, a super enhanced... So, so it, it's going to heal me and give me stamina, Smat. That, that's a good tip, mate. That is a good tip. Cheers, Alethe. Cheers, Smat. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Got you. Uh, you're right. Not, I was talking about you earlier. How are you, man? You think after 10 years they could come up with something better? It is fucking dog shit. It, honestly, the crafting is fucking wank fest, man. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Um, but let, let's ignore it, because everything else is running all right, man. We, we, we'll a treasure right. chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Uh, I can see it on the map. Where is it? Uh, it could be, it could be above us, right? This isn't much to go on. Well, yes, isn't it's much to go on. Is that, no, that's the little girl, look. You're all right, mate, how you doing? What do you think? Does this suit me? Uh, it's the same as you had on earlier, isn't it? I think it's the same dress, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks beautiful. Uh, what about if we... Oh, I thought there was a door there. 
I actually thought that oh, for some reason I thought if I could get onto that. Oh, uh, sorry, mate. Yeah, it's a scaffold inspection, mate. Yeah, on, on the Queen's orders. I, I reckon we leave. Um, so we want to be going east, don't we? So can we leave via the northern? So that's north. And there is a gate there. Maybe if you go out this eastern gate and... Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I do apologise. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, the Cosmic... Oh my god! I, I blame Twitch chat. I was reading about Cosmic Crisps. Cosmic Crisp is a cross between Honey Crisp and Enzo. I don't know what they are either, dude. I think I think I might not have had such a such a wonderful array of apples as you may think. <laughs> You're right, so are you, mate? Have you ever had a grapple? What What do you mean? Uh, is that the same as a fondle? Uh, <laughs> no, she's my mate, Max. She 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 taught me how to make rubber ant or whatever it's called. Oh, a grapple is a type of apple. A grapple apple. I don't know. I feel like this is a trap. I'm just gonna say, mate. I reckon this is a trap chat. Yeah, we did a uh, map. Uh, right, so we, so if I do that, clear all the waypoints, I reckon we, I reckon, I reckon, I, well, do you reckon we could cut through there, look? Oh, that's a tricky one, boys. That's a tricky one. I think, right, what we do, I think we come down here, yeah? And then we come, we just sort of like basically head in that direction over there, yeah? And then see if we can cut through to that area. What do you reckon? Yeah? Right, let's, go. let's go on a, let's go on a, oh, it's raining. She's holding a hand out just to make certain. Does she, do we do a gladiator? Oh, come on, Capcom. Capcom. What, why is she not putting her hand out and stroking the grass like Russell Crowe, man? Fucking shit, game. Uh, a grapple is a cross between a grape and an apple. All right, that sounds amazing. But is it, you know, but which way? I mean, it's, it's got to either be more apple or more grape based on size alone, right? Do you see my point? Uh, cosmic apples are described as a dramatically dark. <laughs> it's just so lame, isn't it? Dramatically dark. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it's dark, but it's dr what does it come with? Like you know, emotional music, <laughs> violins. It's very dramatic. <laughs> Richly flavoured and explosively crisp and juicy. The, the rest of it makes sense. I like can get richly flavoured and explosively crisp and juicy. I, I'd describe like a Granny Smith as a bit like that. Explosively crisp, juicy, and quite tarty, you know? Does anybody want to buy my Cooler Master RGB fans? What, the ones you were in chat earlier on saying that they sounded a bit like a vacuum cleaner? Not really, mate. You're right, Rev. Uh, still has consistency of an apple with the crew. How big is it, though? How, how big? Is it big like an apple or small like a grape? So it consists of so, so quite, quite a meaty sort of, sort of crunch to it. But it has, like, grape juice mixed into the apple juice. So it's big. I, I'd give one a bash, mate. I, I, I think I'd like that. I think I would like that. I like all fruit, as long as it's not a pain in the ass to eat. Um, I don't think there's anything I won't eat in, 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 in the fruit, in, in the fruit sort of, uh, genre of, of, of food. Um, but, but you know things that are just a pain in the ass? Like watermelon, we were talking about the other day. I really like watermelon, but what a pain in the dick, dude. You know what I mean? And, and like, what I'd call like normal I'll oranges. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. You know, like oranges that you have to spend like three days peeling the fucker. They're, they're just, they're just too much hassle, aren't they? You know? Whereas like a Satsuma or a Clementine, you know? Bish bash bosh, you're in there getting on with it, ain't you? Oh, apples. All right, should we set a timer? Can someone set a timer for my apple ripening? Uh, anybody around with a clock? 
so we can actually get them. Uh, and what do I need to mix them with? Uh, 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 green warish or warish, right? Oh, hang on. I might, I might have taken a wrong turn here, boss. Oh, we might not be able to take a shortcut. Start counting in your head. What are you up to, killer? <laughs> you want to go big, go for a Korean pear. They are, see, now pears are weird. I, I used to really like pears, man. But I haven't had a pear in a long time. I, I, I like pears, dude. I, I find them a bit strange. But you know what I like about the pear? You know the bit where the pear is connected to the like the main tree? You've got like the little stalky bit. I like that, man. I like that end bit. It's nice. It's nice. Ooh, is that a cave down there, boys? Ooh, there's a cave. How the hell would we get over there, lads? You know what this game needs? More actual cool shit and not just Dragon's Dogma 1. Like, like a fucking boat. How cool would that be? Like a little rowing boat. I'm not getting up there, am I? Can, can I not get... Uh, you know, here's a, here's a classic example of why the game is just, just like, not current, isn't it? I, I've literally got a levitate spell. Why, why can't I say, Oi, Alania, levitate me up there. A leviosa. <laughs> oh, sorry. Leviosa. And, and why not, dude? It's just fucking dumb as fuck, dude. Can you swim? No, because basically in the original version, they couldn't get swimming in. It was too much of a technical addition to the game. So they came up with the law. <laughs> <laughs> which they've stuck with that the arisen and the pawns cannot go near water and this if they do and they the get sea. into the depths which is about oh, ankle height at its bottom. then a tentacled creature called the brine will devour you uh, everyone else is fine like if you're a fisherman uh, or a peasant you're fine dude you, you can you can swim you can go skinny dipping but if you're the arisen the hero of the universe yeah you, you can't go any even like near a bathtub bro otherwise a tentacled fucking anime hentai creature